coming to you live from a undisclosed location in Sydney, Australia. I might have disclosed that location by mistake for the for Jordan Self Help Channel. <laughs> Shit. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Friendly Jimmy's pre show. And for those of you that joined Jordan and I for Jordan Self Help Channel, Jordan is very Ooh. appreciative of it as well, I'm sure. Thanks for having I'm me. Not appreciative of these headphones, they're not fucking working. Oh, oh you're are kidding. They not are no, they working for you, Ali? Well, I don't even Your invisible have phones. Is it not working at all for you? <laughs> Why don't you have any? You need some. Read that. That's amazing. Um, well, look. You can't hear anything, Jordan? I've got a sound. Well, give him your headphones then. <laughs> Sandy, can you please tell Jordan he'd better be funny tonight as I'm missing Judge Judy for the next <laughs> few hours? Let's be honest, Sandy. <laughs> she will be disappointed. Go and watch Judge Judy. It's way better than this. Come on. Um, do you want? No one's arguing that. <laughs> Look, I'll fix the. Are they I'll plugged the in? But dude, like my argument is that Judge Judy's better than everything, with the possible exception of Doctor Phil <laughs> or Oprah on her like own specials. Yes, and retro Oprah. I like. Damn. I like her. When she had that like oh, shit, background that had that nineties waiver that kind of looked like a television that was going in and out of focus. Yeah. Why hmm. was that the thing of every talk show in the nineties? And an uglier, uglier Rachel cut. Who? <laughs> Oprah had an ugly Rachel cut back in the day when she used to hang out with midgets for a living. She hung out with midgets? Yeah, wasn't that like her show? Really? Yeah, it was. Um, but what? anyways, um, midgets dude, live. Yeah, I don't. I think you're thinking of freak show that you saw in Oops. Pakistan. I don't know. Huh? Sorry. I'm looking for my phone because I don't know what questions they're asking. Let's so go. Let's just riff it. I got mine. Well, is this the actual podcast? No, no this, this is the. the ah, right. Well, I've got a question for you guys. Um, Help a brother out. What, what, what am I supposed to be talking about these days? I don't know. <laughs> You're such a boomer these days, aren't you? Yeah, I'm so out of it. What are people like? Uh, moon pies? Who? Jimmy's? Is yeah. it Jimmy's? Just just blink if it's Jimmy's. Cameras can blink, right? Yeah. What about this uh, Henry Ford guy? Do you <laughs> think he's going to take off? I don't know about the... I, know, I just think the horse and cart sticking around. Yeah. Can, can maneuver better, you know? Cars can't <laughs> jump. <laughs> Holy shit, just blew my mind. Cars can't jump. No, I'm not talking about Noam Chomsky. Look, I'm saying <clears throat> I need more goblin food content. Jesus. All the ones that I've been doing have been missing recently, and that might have something to do with the fact that I tried very briefly and half assedly to get into the YouTube <laughs> drama crowd. Because have you heard of this Patricia Paytas? She's very troubling. She's very, funny. as the kids say, problematic. You're yeah, my greed. I, I, look, don't get me started. You know what I think. I what? think those videos were very funny and I enjoyed them very much. So what I like isn't obviously what the audience likes. Mm. Yeah, but I'm still wondering to this day, are you my mum and did you just have a sex change? Well, we're all, all we're all wondering that. Yeah, I, I think know. the bigger question is, and like, is Ali my dad? Did that happen? <laughs> he could very well Who's be. Who's your daddy? Hey, there's a really good comment here I'm that I think. At, um, the can I just? Comments. Can I, there's a really good one here that I think you will. It's great advice. Uh, <laughs> Jensen Vincent said, "Top ten dogs again." <laughs> I got the list wrong. <laughs> I should have put French bulldogs higher up. Wait, is that that was what the secret <laughs> sauce was. That's what I was missing. How, how many views? That was your lowest viewing video, right? Nah, I've it got wasn't. Lower. Oh shit! I, I think his love's only. If you say Chris down there, ah oh, fuck! <laughs> you know what? You just don't know quality. You beep. No, but just you don't, don't know quality. quality. I hate how everybody hates us doing vlogs. I personally like showing hundreds of thousands of people our like family vacation snaps. <laughs> they didn't they didn't do well? <laughs> the uh the, the the God I am a boomer. Twizzlers Sizzler didn't do well? It Sizzler did, did well. It didn't do bad. Ninety five really? percent of the audience liked it, but there were so many people there that were just being like, What the hell? You're not ex-. this is this is the thing that I hate, uh, that I've just become Mr. Politics somehow, just because no one else is stepping up to the plate. And so everybody every time you ever do anything like that isn't you know, an expose of a, yeah. a, a, a you know niche council that no one had ever heard of before me. They're just like, disappointing. You should be out there going after the big wigs. Dude, like, 
these are basically the only people that I hang out with. Like, and they just hang out here, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, we're not right. some massive organization like the ABC. It takes, like, a lot of prep to do shit like that. But it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. who it was. It's funny. Sizzler was, it was. hilarious. How it was. bad it was. It was no, dead it was, it was, it, it was everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, I think dude. it falls down. We were the no, last. Wow. Not not to to Wumba. No, it surely it didn't. I was. I read somewhere that they're closing down. You know what that reminds see, me of? Just saying, oh, there's just apparently no uncontacted tribes left. Yeah. yeah. Everyone who can be found has been found. Right. And we were alive for that moment. Yeah. That's like all Sizzlers closing down. Like it was just, and I they were kind of like fun. uncontacted tribes of being a Sizzler. <laughs> But the, the, the one in Southern and Shire isn't there anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, I thought these were all dead. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. The legends are true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still one into Wumba. They, well, <laughs> the, the, the people watching this live definitely love Sizzler because if there was anyone that would like Sizzler was, would be pod fans. Yeah, I think your I think your here's issue. Another, uh, sorry, I'll let you. There's, no, no. Here's another um, video suggestion by Keeganator. Mm -hmm. Great conspiracy theories. Of that's Australia, a, that's a yeah, good, Australian that, conspiracy that's actually pretty theories. good. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't mind that. Cons Australian conspiracy. I don't know what else you put in there apart from Gough Whitlam. What else is there? No, in the number Harold Holt. Oh, um, no, but like you can make yeah, it international. How, how about the fact that the rest of the world thinks that we're like all paid actors? <laughs> this is not a real country. What do you mean? Think? Well, I mean, look, I really can't confirm or deny that because who do I hang out with? You guys, <laughs> yeah, my we, girlfriend who is an actor and Neil who's also an actor. Yeah, so, so far Christ. we're hitting five for five. What conspiracy? I, 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 know, I remember like Corona at first. He, Jordan didn't know what Corona was for like two weeks. Yeah. The pandemic wow. had hit. <laughs> Everyone was Fuck. buying toilet paper and Jordan was just coming out of his room saying like, Corona word beer, huh? Oh my yes. god, dude! The, yes. I'm so behind. Who'd have thought that obsessively sitting there and writing on one subject for a month puts you behind the loop? Yeah, <laughs> self-imposed prisoner. Yeah, self-imposed isolation. Yeah, that that is. So cool, I though. do actually need help on like w what's relevant anymore. It's really I'm <laughs> searching the recesses of my mind here. That's why, mm. like. Every reference I have is cheese TV. That's all I got. Yeah. Well, that's the best one. Why have, you know, yeah. burger when you can have steak? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying do more change your mind? Change my mind? Uh, change my minds. They were good. The change my minds were good. Because then you end up getting your sat Ujits coming on and then you get, you know, you get these big battles, right? Big battles afterwards. Oh. But what, what ones can I do a change my mind on? Yeah, that's true. Someone said, "Interview your the mom." The greens suck. Change my mind. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. But then again, so, sorry, we're just doing like this is just a live like business meeting. <laughs> but then you're going to ostracize your greeny fans more. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem. You, you have like you, you, you're playing many. You, you've got many fingers in many pies. It's like it's like pay out everyone. And also love everyone. It's just like, why haven't I got a specific audience? I pay out everyone as much as I love everyone. Like by definition, it's like. No, but you know, there is, uh, there's a suggestion over here, which I think is on point. Like hit up the footy fans. Do you know what footy fans? Like, yeah, they're, they're How do you do aggressive, that? all that shit, but they can take a fucking joke. Bogans can take jokes. So remember like back, like retro friendly Jordy's 2014, you did like, why NRL is the greatest, uh, well, whatever your thing was. I remember those videos were really good. I agree. I think so. It's just, like, but it's the same thing. It's just I don't know anything about it. Nothing. Dude, well, we gotta start watching footy. I think. Yeah, I'll, I know a little bit. Change my mind on the top ten <laughs> dogs list. <laughs> Shout out, uh, <laughs> shout out, so good, just NY Tram that's 91. That's strong about it, huh? S S shout out, NY Tram underscore 91. That's fucking Yeah, funny, good on dude. you, NY <laughs> Tram. That was amazing. And uh, like, God, just thinking about all of the steps that would have to go into play for that. Hiring extra cameramen, getting city yeah. approval to sit down. And just be like, yeah, yeah, come on, let's like pugs number four, yes or no? <laughs> Wait, do you Dude. think the video didn't do well because your ranking was off, or because no, the video no, I think it, was uh, because you, you tell us why you think it was bad because I thought it was a brilliant. What piece the of rank art. my dog things? Yeah, look, I didn't even. 
I didn't even put it this way. I, I didn't finish it. I couldn't get through it. I didn't. I, I thought it and was. You did you wrote finish it? it? Did you finish it? I think so. Yeah. I think it was. Dang, it was just a. Bit. It wasn't even that bad. It was just a bit cringe. That was it. Wasn't that it? That's what I thought. Wait, it was just. You think it was cringe. off brand for Jordan? Yeah, it was because just like, it is this Mama old. Mia or is this friendly <laughs> Jordy? <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> Uh, well, you're going to love it next. Guys, what do you think about this? This is a video that's coming out soon. Ranking Miyazaki videos. That and, and I deliberately made the rankings fucked. Yeah. I but really, I, like, I think I'm going to trigger a lot of people purely because I just found out that it's actually Studio Ghibli. Oh, no, Studio Ghibli. I, I thought and it was Ghibli. Was Ghibli. I thought it was Ghibli. Time. Yeah. Uh, I've been I'm making like, an idiot of myself. Dude, I've been calling it Ghibli my whole life. I'm not changing now. Nah, it's like it's, it's like pied. I'm not switching to P day. It's pied. I'm done. Pied. I'm sorry. Um, I thought Don- it was pie though. Don King doesn't have a suggestion. He has a demand. Yoma's HBO series. Oh, yeah. yeah, that would be amazing. Dude, that would be sick. But you know what? It would never get picked up. Not in this day and age. Not in but this they, day and they age. They fucking picked up Chris Lee not too long ago. True. Yeah, but they but didn't they also like cancel Jonah from Tonga and that guy? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's getting keen. Jonah was a witch Islander version of Yilmaz. Yeah. That's true. Albo, so they they like Albo, more Albo skits. Yeah, um, but that died in the ass. We can't do that. Shit. Did it? How many? He did bad numbers. Really? That's yeah. so... What the hell? What the... That's... We, why do you think that is? Because it was a funny know. skit. Do you think it was because it was low budget? Maybe. I think it's just because Albo... Isn't a draw card. Like, he's completely invisible. I reckon if you ask the average person on the street who's the opposition leader of the Labour Party, they'd be like, What's the Labour Party? Oh, God. You, uh, Paul Keating? Yeah. Yeah. No, Green, maybe. That might be true. Green you know what? I think that'd be mind. too intelligent for them. Green suck changed my mind could be good. But, you know, sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. But, like, everyone's, so how does that make sense? So, Albo is niche. The opposition leader is too niche for, for Australia. Is that what's happened? Well, we can, um, that's bizarre. I mean, there's a lot of, dude, there's a lot of suggestions. It's just, I don't know how these things work. Pakistanis are better than Indians, change my mind. And yeah. Neil sits down. <laughs> you versus Neil, that would be you know great. Funny? Neil's are like, yeah, you're probably right, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, never thought of it that way. <laughs> I guess yeah. you're right. I mean, there's more of them, so clearly there'd be like more cunts in, in there. Like, yeah, man, yes, man. you're right. No, nah, he I mean, yeah. mathematically he turned right. it around and just been like, oh, I don't think we should be a discussion about race, like, but it's in the question. <laughs> Damn, Muslims dads versus Christian dads part. I stand by that was a good. It was. Video. It was. I use it as one of the worst videos. Why? Yeah, because it just did bad in numbers. Did but it? it did look at the numbers right Dude, now, sir. Look at the. Equ- Why? What are they on now? <laughs> there. Well, actually, because I don't have my phone right now. Check I it out, it. Dude, Dude. I think the equation is this, I'll Jordan. Look it up right now, uh, Jordan. I think the equation. Like how niche is this Twitch one? Like everything that fails. And they're not even saying it as a joke. Yeah. Oh, they're really right. just being like, why don't you interview Simon Crane? Dude, even know who that is. Aver- exactly. Like, Miss Love isn't even in. The <laughs> chief, chief political editor. Uh, editor in chief yeah. doesn't know who that is. Muslim Dads versus Christian Dads has 278,000 views. Shit. I don't think that's bad. That's, that's not bad, Jordan. What are you talking about? What? Say that again. He didn't listen. 278,000 views for Muslim Dads versus Christian Dads. That's not bad happened you know what every now and then there is just like a resurgence no there's just like ah some chicks that come up afterwards in hijabs just being like i really liked christian <laughs> <laughs> just Muslim dads. So weird. Dude, there's a there's That's a so there's a comment here which is funny as fuck but i can't read it because i think we'll get let me see let me see let me see let me see it's by oh, Microsoft Man don't, 12. Don't read that. Don't read that out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, we're not reading it out. Um, <laughs> um, I feel like... Such funny cuts. Dude, I fuck feel, you, man. You can't make us laugh like that. Yeah. This is going to get us into trouble. I feel like... Um, <laughs> I feel... Bring back Aussie Quartz. More yeah, well, this is Mace. This is actually what I want you to do on Friday. What? What? Go to court? Yeah. Is there courts in Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> no, there aren't. Any. I feel um, like there's well, not. the only people committing crimes were in Sheshnor. Well, 
Am I that wrong? No, you're not that wrong, actually. Probably that's... Uh, yeah, l- l- let's be honest. That probably w- due to lack of crime, there will be no court on Friday. <laughs> Maybe. But, like, I-, I think that we could go... So- look, I'll find somewhere. We'll but do it. You're right. You know what actually does happen as well, having mm. said that? This is what I'm talking about. I really want to start hitting every fucking demographic you possibly can of uh, Australia because it just starts broadening your audience. Because, dude, barristers come to my show. Judges yeah. come to my show just being like, Aussie Coach. It's mm. just a transcript, isn't it? It's like, yes, it is. The, 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 the ones <laughs> that that's do the, ones, the best yeah. are just transcripts. Yeah, when you sat in You're Lithgow a- Court every Thursday and just came back just being like, this stuff writes itself. It does write itself. Or- yeah. But that's what I want you to do on Friday. Go to a court. Go to a court. Well, It'll be it, fun, actually. I'll find the yellow pages, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't nah, know. You can to- just go to, like, you know where you should go? Do not go to the Supreme Court or anything. Why that no, one it'd sounds be too mad? Intense. It'd be too it, intense. Go to go to Wait, like a I go local in, court. Can yeah, I go, go into a court. Supreme Court? Yeah, you can. What are they like libraries? <laughs> Probably not dressed like that, but I don't know. Are they like libraries? You just walk in and you can just fucking yeah, yeah, public just gallery. Ask them, you like, just sit there. If they say anything, you're like, I'm a student. Yeah. yeah, I'm a student of law. Just say that I'm a law student, and they'll be like, whatever. Really? Yes, and it's funny. I mean, it's sad. I would like to do that actually. No, that's the great thing about court. I would like to do that. Is you know what the court symbol should be? What? It shouldn't be the justice lady with the blind face. It should be the symbol of theatre. <laughs> you know those two, like, sm- the smiling face and this crying face? That's court. That should be the court symbol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Hey, hey, there's, uh, there's dude, a- that's, that's, like the f- that's so funny, dude. Yeah, let, let's write that down, actually. It's, like, one of the funniest things... <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. He, he wants courts to have a theatre sign. The happy face, sad face, because you come in there and just be like, Romeo, Romeo, why did you stash meth under the four-wheel drive out there, Romeo? Like, that's so funny, dude. Well, they dude, want- don't reckon anyone that goes to court, that's pretty much their life. It's just like- <laughs> it's Oh, yeah, life. dude, by, this is a good point. Banmo says, um, I raise you Blacktown from Andre. Yeah, dude, if you've got time, Drive, pay for it <laughs> so that he actually does it. Mm-mm. Drive to Blackdown or Mount Druid local court. You're going to get the best fucking story. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. You can, get, you can get sick chicken on the way. True. I'm just, uh, that's so far. Come no, on. No, it can be done. It can be, it can be done. Surely. Look, I, I actually kind of Can want, it be done? Dude, basically, like, th- yeah. this is my vision of what I want Miss to do right in the new th- business right i just want him to be in charge of goblin food and then i just want christo to be like professional rat boy that he is mm. and so him to just be snooping around parliament and basically to him just being like what what's what's like an annoying thing like just go be a garbo for a day and then he's just been like yeah oh, it's very smelly yeah there's a banana peel on my face i'm not enjoying this you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Write that down. What? That's gold. I would do that day in the life. Oh, wait, wait. Dude, we should make that another Top Gear video. Just yeah. like, yeah. Toto goes. Toto Lancaster puts out the all new garbage disposal unit for Melbourne. <laughs> Can we also send Miss Love to like ethnic events to freak him out? Make him oh. like the Carl Pilkington? Oh, hell yeah. I'll, I'll send you, but by yourself. Yeah. To okay. like eat with, with, festivals and shit. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. I mean, like, I would do that. I just hope they wouldn't lynch me. <laughs> Well, if you get pissed at them for like praying I the wouldn't get 7-Eleven, then you I'm, might. Well, take it to, you know, at the back. That's all I ask. That was fucking funny as shit. Um, but I think that actually really would work because, yeah, a, a lot of like... Rat Boys made a lot of connections by just like constantly Rat hanging boy. around Parliament and them just being like, hey, are you supposed to be here? And him being like, yes. And just yeah. walking in. It's actually, you know, I think it's the same thing with you. Like, if you went out and did experiences of just like, you know, when we're riding like an Aussie pubs or something like that, I'm just like, go sit in a pub for a day. Oh, what a hard job. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I've never been in a pub before. <laughs> I'll an Aussie that. pub, nonetheless. I'll do that with you. I like that. Reason. Hey, Jordan, you know what? <laughs> you know, wait, you know what? I don't, I don't even have to do that on the clock because I'll be in one on the weekends anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's given me the beer. He's, he's he's put down the beer. Okay, he's put down no coaster. He's put down the beer. Okay, now yep, it tastes like a beer and a. <laughs> psh- 
I've been punched in the face. I've been punched in the face. I've been punched in the face. It's probably because I'm talking about people to their faces. Do I regret it? No, it's the price of being a journalist. (laughs) I'd give a pub experience a nice five out of ten. Hey, Fat Dyke on Crack wants to hear more. Fat Dyke on Crack. Dyke Whatever on crack. you want is yeah, what yeah. you get. You, you Fat exactly. Dyke on Crack. Exactly. Hey, actually, Fat Dyke on Crack. Are you actually a Fat Dyke on Crack? <laughs> I, I would really love to, to know that. that. <laughs> Undercover Well, missile. she wants you to do more stories from your modeling career. No, oh, yeah, well, I can do that. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. dude, there, I remember there was this one story. I don't know if you've already done this one, but you know how you hung out with someone... That was a receptionist for a brothel. Yeah. And she was like exclusively in charge for like airplane escort services or whatever. Yeah. That uh-huh. was fucked. Whoa. And the big names that also featured in that list was also pretty insane. Oh, they really? were in, well, I can't name any of that. Why? Why? Because I'd be like that would get me killed. Oh really? Would it? What? Yeah. What? what? Because it's not what? Like some a Giorgio me? Armani fucking model. Nah, more like uh, Star of Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Sorry. Shut the hell up. I'm glad this is getting cut out. <laughs> Fucking hell, Ali. Hey. Yeah, well, I, love, I think we all know who we're talking about there. The guy from Superbad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Oh, shit. Um, uh, look, <laughs> fuck it, hell, Ali. Why, yeah, is, why is that bad? <laughs> because we're just they're shame. very protective about that stuff. Oh. Really it's great. You're just, you're just throwing wrong. him more under the bus when he's just been like, oh, it's just uh, dog reviews. Oh, come on, just want to do more dog reviews. And Ali's just like, here's more trouble. Yeah. <laughs> here's <laughs> a steaming go. pile of shit for you. Well, Fat Dyke on Crack says, I'm 5'7 and weigh 65 kilos. I wish I was a fat dyke. <laughs> I don't know Jesus. what that means. 5'7 and 65. Dude, eat a burger. Wait, that's not that tall. Don't eat a burger. Wait, 5'7 and 65. Yeah, that's really that's a dude, normal. Th- that's a normal weight. About, like, huh? Isn't that a normal weight? Yeah, I think that's normal. I think you're a normal, healthy human being, dude. <laughs> like, what? Why even give us, like, like that's a problem. Uh, I wish I was a fat dog. There's a crack. lot of requests for more Dave's, Dave's dinners. dinners. We can do that. That more can Dave's be dinners. arranged. Yeah. We'll do that tomorrow. Dave's dinners. So like, what, what's the what's the go with like, in terms of videos, as, as, are they all just going slightly less? Or is there, is there a consistent trend in terms of what some things are doing better, some things are doing worse? Like, is there, or are you just kind of blindly looking at it being like, yeah, you know, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Is it all slumping? No, 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 no. It's just like I tried to do things that weren't specifically Australian right. centric, and then right. I just realized, no, that's my quote unquote clout gang. I never, I never really thought about it before, but obviously, because I've always can we just do been a poll on that? On Australia. What can we do a poll right now? I, I'm just curious. Should Jordan do? And I'm not saying exclusively, but generally speaking, Australian content. Or international content, just do Australian well, or international. Say a mix of both. Right. I think that really, like, what I'd the like audience to know. is showing like is know. like, you should just focus on Australian content. Well, look, and I'll, I'll give you. I know the pod statistics, right? So, in in terms of the podcast, close to ninety three to ninety four percent of our audience is Australian. At number two, you get New for Zealand, us, the UK, uh. then New Zealand. Oh, sorry, then America, and then New Zealand. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, and the, the, you know what the other thing as well is? That's, and I don't even know why I was doing it. It was just because I was just thinking, fuck, audience growth is slowing. I think I'm actually getting to the stage where everybody that you can reach has been reached. Right. You know? And so I was just thinking, well, maybe I should just start making it. I'm trying to just branch in. This is the thing that I'm interested in, right? Because this is the whole secret to, fuck, I'm really giving away a secret here. But, like, the whole secret of YouTube content is to try and enter people's worlds. But I'm running out of worlds to enter in Australia. I think yeah. that's what's happened. I don't know. Dude, you know, Maybe what, I'm you know what fucking has to happen? I know exactly what has to happen. It's punching me right in the face. It's clear as day. Obviously not great timing with COVID and everything, but when you can travel again, it's time for Vice, aka Friendly Choice, no. to move to the Big Apple or LA or, or some other fucking hub. You I know you really want to live there, yeah, Miss I don't. I just want to gonna... live in Louisiana. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me a you ticket to it. New York. You f- I'll get a bus to Louisiana you, myself. Thank you, you, you said very it. Much. You fucking said it. You need other people's worlds. Like how many times can you be like, Bogans live in the West. Move. Don't they? They still live in the West, right? Yeah, they're still in the West. Sweet. 
You can't I think that that just works in Australia, though. Yeah. Like, but you just said you need new Rodney stories. Rodney Roode made an entire career out of that. Yeah, but Rodney Roode had this massive, which you also had. Rodney Roode had his own Clive Palmer moment when uh, it was the WA police that sued him. That's he true. became huge after that. Did he? Yeah, because everyone was all of a sudden sympathetic Underdog. to this comedian. Right. He had media on his How side. How do you know that? I watched Rodney Root duckos when I got nothing else to do. Mad. The other thing. What the I, hell? That's mad. <laughs> the other thing that I do is I am looking very deep into uh, Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp. Who is right? Who is wrong? <laughs> We've all been there. We've all so been my there. My world is full. Well, you of beat it. I've done that deep. What down. do you guys reckon? Oh, well, who is it for? I, we already talked about it. Well, yeah, for but a like, while. I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh, don't no, be isn't, it just, isn't it just the answer, afraid. Johnny Depp? I thought Dude, it was Johnny Depp. She's, she, she's a sociopath that it's been proven in court. I'm, I'm pretty sure that she just faked the whole thing. So, yeah. And hasn't she's been just, proven. It's been argued in court. Well, but she let's just say that there were these new tape recordings. Well, actually, we can say that. There were these new tape recordings that came up. And um, I'm glad that these tape recordings were there. But it turns out that she was hitting him a lot. Yeah. And she was like admitting to it during these phone conversations. She's like, I didn't punch you. I was just hitting you. you. Just grow up. There's a lot of proof that like it's, it's yeah. But anyways, we should, we should, I'm glad this was for the pre-show because I don't know. But basically, yeah. After Who's she dating now? Hole, like she's hated now, right? Yeah. She got a, well, she, she just got kicked off Aquaman, dude, from a two yeah. million strong petition. Two Whoa. million people said, and man, you know what? I feel that that was probably appropriate. It doesn't take much. Like, like a stump fuck, fight, they just dude. got rid of Johnny Depp on a whim, didn't they? Yeah, it's because, because you know, you just and I, I was guilty of the same thing. You're like, well, Johnny Depp beat Amber Heard, and you're like, well, a lot of drug, rock and roll life. It was that missile thing. Like, Why well, uh, the Bill? He's Burstein. got that face, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like one of those people. Yeah, just like, I just blacked out. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Did we party? Well, he and he's that. in a refugee but camp. Yeah. yeah, he is that person. But, like, yeah. but, but the is other he? thing, his, yeah. his looks can be deceiving because everyone says that he's actually a very nice. He's supposed being. to be a really nice guy. And so, but then you could argue, well, maybe he's nice in public life and he should beat his wife. But as more things get revealed, it's not that we now know what happened, but what we now know is that Amber Heard um, was. Uh, might not have been speaking gospel. Very rude. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah, she may have been, uh, maybe... But here's, here's my defense of her. She's really hot. Oh, that's the thing, man. You gotta be... You gotta be that is a good point. But Johnny uh, Depp's very hot, isn't he? Yeah, they both yeah, are, Yeah, they're really. both hot, but you gotta be... You know what's crazy? Our viewership just went up. You talk about this. Jesus. Anything cancel-worthy, they're like, yes, give me oh, more Oh, cancel-worthy. Yeah. Oh, right, I thought it was just like MFNBC how is algorithm. Can- how are we at this stage because in life where you're sitting there being cancel like, worthy. Amber is attractive. Oh, my God! No, not Amber is attractive, <laughs> but uh, Johnny Depp is not you a said wife You said, oh, oh, Jesus I Christ. I it was proven. It essentially... It very much has been very close to. I don't know very why you guys to. were deep diving. Fuck you guys behind the time. You're the worst fucking people <laughs> to be doing a podcast with. Absolutely. Why? Just shambles. Why? Because this is news from like the beginning of last he year, wasn't it? it up. <laughs> he brought it up. I was just saying that last year I also did a deep dive. <laughs> Last year, I did it yesterday. Well, you're worse than me. I'm up to the date. I'm watch hip. I'm I'm blowing up right now. You're not wrong, dude. They, you are not wrong. They want Pakistan. And I was like, oh my god. They want Pakistan part two, which we can't do because <laughs> no, we've got Pakistan part two. Actually, I need to just tell oh, Kirsten to do well, that. that mm. des- interview Destiny. Who the hell's that? Yeah, what's who, who is the Destiny? fuck is Destiny? Like, Why do people keep saying this? They don't. A lot of people really want you to interview yeah, Destiny. I've I've seen that a lot too. I have no idea who whomever Destiny. she. Maybe they mean she Destiny is. Child. He, I don't know if you can get very rude. Can you Beyonce can? and all of them in one group. But Destiny. no, 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 no. I know he's a YouTuber, but like I just saw him a bit, and I was like, I I don't want to be part of that world. It just seems like. You know, like a big part of my life off air is thinking about self-help to try and level out how depressing politics is in general. Yeah. But then you look at these characters like your Vorshes and your Destinies and they just look like really sad, bitter people. Is he and political or is he like pop culture? What's his stick? No, no, they're both political. They just sit around and and also it's the shitty debates that I hate so much of just like, this is a qualified... Uh, a qualified apology. So a qualified apology is when, like, they're, they're all those like little shitty terms that like are just really fucking annoying about like arguments. They seem to just be constantly arguing about arguments. 
Mm. They're at that level. And like everything is just like, it's, it's the worst part of my job. I hate doing it where you like, somebody just says like, you said this, you have to respond. It's like, fuck you. Why do I have to respond? Yeah, but that's You can clip me just saying that right now, just being like, oh my God, friendly Jordy said, why do I have to respond? And you could get like 50 fucking articles about it. And then I'm forced to respond. You know, that that's how the game works. But that they comes with the territory. Anything at all. But, this but is there's the a thing. fix for that. That comes with the territory though, right? Don't Panthera, say anything. Panthera, Panthera, Panthera. There is, yes. And you're good. Yeah, you're there good. we go. No, 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 but it's not. And I actually know your fucking name as well, cunts, and I've got <laughs> in, things shit on each and every one of you individually, <laughs> poxen. Uh, but like, uh, yeah, the, the, it's like the worst part. Because you know why? I don't mind it because it gets you a lot of views and it's controversy and whatever, but it's just pathetic because it's like, why, do, why the fuck do I matter that much that it's like, oh, what's he gotten into now? Like it turns, it turns what you're trying to do in the first place, which is focus people's attention on the fact that there's an extinction crisis into the bachelor. Yeah. That's really what's happening but there. It's human and so nature. they've kind of created this ecosystem that seems from an like very cuz like just kept seeing it so I just started looking into them a bit and it really seems like that's their entire life is just being like I didn't say exactly that what I said was and it's like yeah I mean you're getting views out of it man that's cool but it seems like a really sad life. I don't want to be part that. of it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't like I hate yeah. that part of my job. I don't like it. Yeah. Well, there you well, go. Well, then don't so do it. The Destiny interview is happening soon, then, I guess. <laughs> but we'll go on a break because we're going to come back with the main part. Thank you for your suggestions, and we'll see you guys in like two, three minutes. Hot, 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 hot. Welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast, where we'll be discussing a lot of meaty stuff, which we haven't decided just as yet, like normal, mm. but it'll come to us. Yeah, because uh, we're just looking at our producer's notes and they are good notes. Yeah, by the we way. We have not studied. We've got a producer who is doing some yeah, great work. Right. He's probably listening. I don't know if you want your name out there, so I'm not going to take it now. But if you do, we can give you a shout out later. Thank you for your exceptional work. Um, for those of you that are saying, that was one of you, that said that um, what happened to the meme section, the meme segment... We don't have it today, again, for two reasons. Number one, you got to step up your meme game. <laughs> your fault. You're working for us. You need to come up with good quality shit. Otherwise, <laughs> and it's continue not paying for us. It. Sign up to the Patreon. <laughs> exactly. And join Patreon. So you really, just is the lowest of the low. <laughs> the new economy is fucked. But the second problem is... Do our job for us. Most of our... And be our boss. It's the opposite of coal miners. No, be <laughs> what the hell? Be a classless man uh, while stick. doing most of the work. Um, <laughs> what is going on? But the on? second problem is most of our <laughs> audience listens to us rather than watches us. So just visual memes are not working. Do they listen to us? Yeah, most what, of so them. People don't like poorly recorded stuff with a yellow backlight. Poorly? poorly. I think the scariest amount of, like that level of poster is scary. That's. You know when you go and look in a prisoner's cell? It looks like this. Just a huge photo of the Australian flag being like, yeah, Trump, not bad. Fuck yeah, fenders. I'm going to get one when I get out. One guy. Yeah. One Welcome guy. to prison, the prison pod. One look guy. at us, dude. We look like prisoners and Ali looks like the guy prison being like, God. hey, have you guys ever heard about God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's wearing the fucking imam thing yeah, or whatever it's yeah. called. What is it? Hey, you. Are, yeah, this is a- Stand up, show the people. You're the, right. you're the Muslim prisoner where the fucking, like, people are held yeah, up. Yeah, he's converted to Islam in, on the inside. Yeah, he's trying to convert us. Oh, okay. Now he looks like a prisoner. Look at that. No. Check it out. Damn. The dress, man. you're getting man. your good behavior, Bond, because you work in the kitchen, aren't you? Don't see, hey, pretty. see, we meet our quota. See? So anyone watching. <laughs> yeah, stop canceling us. Fucking. <laughs> but uh, basically, I was out of laundry. <laughs> so uh, I, I love that that's what you refer to out of laundry. Like, well, it you was just, the only thing left, dude. That's so only, good. I wear this for like funerals and weddings. <laughs> that's Damn. so good. <laughs> I can't wait until next week when you come in here and you're wearing a car seat cover. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that you, Marvin the Martian on the front. This is my uh, emergency clothes too. I, for some reason, every time my clothes run out, it's just like I have like five of these striped I'm a French person shirts. They just appear. It's so weird. Really? Yeah. Who'd have thought they'd permeate around Newtown, eh? I know, right? You can't, you can't pick it. You know, you would have thought it'd be a. I think actually, if you walked in to your uh, beautiful, uh, like your, your beautiful shack, but when you look at all of your housemates, 
I bet you right now they are doing one of those really lame fifties dances <laughs> in those shirts with Shirley Temple in the sec in the middle, just being like, "And the sweet jeep." <laughs> Just be like, come on, we got to get this perfect for when Miss Love gets back. (laughs) (laughs) You've been you've been looking at my dreams again, haven't you? (laughs) Your house, mate. That's your dream. Fucking hell. All right, should we should we move on to our first one? All right, um, but Paul, do you want us to learn that dance and do it on the podcast? Oh, actually, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna yeah. Ali Shirley Temple. I yes, for, <laughs> I forgot about this. And I was gonna ask you guys when we're not live, but I may as well do it now. Well, one of the great ideas. I was looking. All right, you guys are involved in this conversation too. So I was looking at our YouTube stats. All of you guys. Mm. It turns out ninety five percent of you have penises. Yeah, but that's YouTube. That's ninety five percent of YouTube does have penises. That They're is either true. watching us or some anorexic sitting there being like, "I'm going to talk about Bratch dolls." That's true. So I was thinking <laughs> that we do this segment. Tell me if you guys are keen on this to shamelessly appeal to women, <laughs> straight up. It's not going to work. What we do no. That's um, that's no. No, it'll be, I think it could be funny. So what we do is, oh no, we I look for an uh, a really famous um, Instagrammer that does makeup. I show Jordan for this. This could be the first one. I show you a picture of her, and I give you makeup, and you need to replicate that makeup. And live on the pod, live on the pod, and we get a female audience member of ours to call in and give her review on it. All right, yeah, no, I really like so that let's idea. Let's do that next. That week. kills a lot of birds. Yeah, let's do that and next what, week. Couldn't he, couldn't he be canceled for like twenty things doing that though? No, what do you? What's canceled? No, there, there's about that? nothing. That's the only uncancelable thing in the 21st century, a man makeup. wearing makeup. Yeah, yeah. If but a woman wears <laughs> makeup, they could be cancelled for that. But not if that it's could well be appropriating. done. Uh, not if it's badly done because it's, it's I, insulting I, it. I saw, so this is the, the, on my, was it Valentine's Day or my birthday? One of the days, um, my girlfriend took me to the show, which ended up being, I did not know at the time, it was just a Magic Mike like strip show for men. <laughs> And you were what? wearing this? I was wearing uh, <laughs> close enough. But it was, it was, it was the only thing. So these guys are so well built and they weren't wearing anything. So they're, most of them have huge fucking penises. Really? The only thing that was making me less insecure was that I was 90% sure they're gay. Why? Because. Because they cut. Well, because they're like doing, um, I don't know. I don't know. No, I would imagine they'd be really heterosexual. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't no, know. No, I don't think that they would be at all. What, what was the audience? The audience was primarily like cougars, right? They're like, yeah, get it out. No, it was like a whole bunch of people. And every time something like semi homoerotic happened, it had like a huge clap. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the audience, there we go. Which is weird. Yeah. And every time yeah. there was like a straight kiss or something, they were like not keen on that. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. It was, it was actually, and the, the whole show was acrobatics. And uh, at one point I saw... While the man was doing acrobatics, I could literally see into his anus. <laughs> no. What do you mean, in his <laughs> anus? Well, he was bent over, Jesus. and his ass was towards us while he was doing, like, a really bendy acrobat. And you... Yeah, I, I could give him an, a, a rectal examination if he required. It was... <laughs> wow. Not in Pakistan yeah. anymore. Yeah. No, That's no wonder you reverted back. Yeah, I was like, fuck this <laughs> shit. Going back to Islam. Uh. I can't believe you saw inside a man's <laughs> anus Jeez. and you paid money for it. Well, Wait, was, this, was this on your birthday? Is this what you did on your birthday? I think it was either on my birthday or on that Valentine's Day. That was your Day birthday. Day. <laughs> oh, a, a Valentine's Dress Day. Dress right. Dress like, as an imam. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, that's so You've cool. really that's got so it the other way point. around. You should come from Stratfield and your girlfriend should come from the Western suburbs. That's true. The fact that she's going like, honey, let's go see Magic Mike. Uh, well, more romantic that, than that. Yeah, that is more Holsworth. Wait, yeah, <laughs> Holsworth. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Damn. Um, Did you and enjoy what, it? What would, what would you rec- uh, rate it? Well, the thing was, I actually enjoyed it because we ended up going there late and then the show ended and it was for 40, 40 minutes or something. I was like, okay, that was okay. But then I turned out that was the intermission. And there was another hour <laughs> after that. <laughs> and I think that another hour Jesus. was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you know, how many anuses can you truly... But, man, these men, <sighs> and even the women, there were a few women, but these men... Well, there's were a just women in, there. Yeah, but the women were, like, not straight teasing. <laughs> it was just yeah. the what men that doing? were doing it. That's magic well, They were Mike. just, like, doing, uh, again, acrobatics. You know those uh, exercises that girls, like, 
uh, fit girls training when there's a rope and you climb on that nah, rope yeah, and yeah, you yeah. do all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So like they Robin. were doing that. And the guys were also doing that. But but the guys were all naked and, uh, and, and just super fit and huge penises. All of them. <laughs> Do you think it actually was a penis? Surely they just chuck a cucumber in there. No. They can't all be meats. Yeah, they can. It's probably a requirement, dude. Yeah, you're probably right. I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but there, uh, the thing was, like, you can, you don't have to guesswork because what they were wearing was, like, a, the male equivalent of a G-string. So m- not much was hidden. Yep. I think it was just a requirement that they had to do. But, like, you could see everything. Hang on. This is just for Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, tell me this isn't better than Judge Judy. <laughs> she would love this. Yeah, I reckon she would. This is right up her alley. The only thing I don't think she knows that there is any other entertainment other than no, Judge magic. Judy and Magic Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. But dude, like there were Christ. moments. There were moments. What? Andy, what the hell? <laughs> there were moments during that show where my packy was coming out, and I was like, "Hold on a minute, I don't think this is right." <laughs> well, you're wearing the right garb, dude. I don't think there's many people that like unless That's they're explicitly Panthera. gay Panthera, Panthera. and they're going to a strip tease, not many people want to pay money to look inside a man's <laughs> anus. <laughs> hey, there's a you know what? <laughs> Is that a controversial <laughs> Gen thing X does. A lot of them the most of the audience I think were Gen X. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cougars. Yeah. Right. It's uh, Gen X Cougars now. Yeah, dude. Well, well, I'll be. It's not 2005 anymore. They're not Shit. in their 30s. Oh, They're still 50. Still... Fuck. Shit. The right. baby boomers are the golden generation now, and the golden oh. generation are, are pretty much dead. Gonski yeah. reform? Gonski <laughs> reform? <laughs> As in Gonskis. They're Gonski after they, the They're reform. Gonskis, yeah. And <laughs> they're Gonski, Gonski. They're brown, be- they're brown bread. Yeah, they're brown bread. That all makes sense then, innit? it? <laughs> Um, he wants some eels. Uh, damn. Sorry. I forgot that you are the <laughs> professional uh, eel monger. Eel monger. Hey, by the way, podcast. without giving away too much, watch this space if you like eels. Because I know we were talking about that, that on Twitch before. And uh, ye ask and ye shall receive. Were people actually excited about that? Yeah. Heaps of people were asking. Ooh, saucy. Yeah. Hey. Mint no pun in, saucy. Yeah. Poshly licky. <laughs> uh, so. Well, uh, there you go. Well, Gen Xers aren't 30 anymore. <laughs> you learn something every day. And Even though I'm 31, I thought there were still 31. And this is for all the packies out there. If you ever are in a situation where you're seeing a man's oh. anus, there will be a voice within you that comes out and says, hey, this is not okay. But just so you know, it is, oh it is kind of distressing, but it's still okay. I don't know, man. Like, I would be pretty distressed if I saw that. I've got to say, it would be intense. I don't really want to see that. It's like, just especially the fact that, like, open. I, I just can't get over the fact that you are paying money to see that. It's well, just very bizarre to me that that's entertainment now. Just well, it's the like same. Is there any worms in there? Can you check that out? Hey, you made a living out of it. Well, you're the, the same. same. Hey, yeah, you're right. It's yeah, the you're same right. as it's the same. Men go to female strip clubs. It's just reverse. But like no in difference. my defense, yeah, that's we true, don't. I don't go we to don't female, go to strip, female clubs. strip clubs. And th- I would yeah. think I've that been. going to a Speak female strip club would be pretty sad. Is well, it sad? No, I did go to one on my... Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you were there. You were sleeping. Yeah, that, and, again, and another like... <laughs> I don't think Ali has ever seen an entertainment show or program that he's actually liked. Yeah, I'm just a grumpy man. But I went to a strip club Fair. once. But here's the thing: I know, I know that there are. Uh, but this is the the equal ones that I want to make. I know there are strip clubs for women, and they've existed forever. And these men ones are kind of new. But in my defense, it's not that I go to those female strip clubs either. Like most men, don't go well, to female strip clubs. Speak for yourself. And so, <laughs> but for some reason, if it's a male strip club, like the 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 acceptance level is extremely high. Comparatively, nah, it's the same, dude. Is it? Yeah, okay. there's no stigma. The cross used to be like, the cross was essentially like, bring your family down to Jeff's Rib and Strip Club. Like kids used to go to them basically in the nineties, <laughs> so that's not really true. Yeah, yeah, man. Do you remember what the cross was like? Hang on, were, were, the, were the chicks actually hot there? Because of this Magic Mike thing, the guys were handsome. The guys were handsome, but I would say, and and I'm guessing the women weren't chosen for their looks because they were chosen for their acrobatic abilities, but they weren't nearly as good looking as the men were. But what about at the strip club? 
the women's strip club, there were no men. I mean, the men were just like seedy men that were like trying to get uh, $20 off a of lap yeah. dance. And they were mm. also showing the anus. <laughs> but man, you know, you know the one thing that I learned at that strip club? <laughs> They are also trying. <laughs> Sorry, it's just yeah, a they, fucked they, image. A man in a suit. Really just, yeah. Peg me. Sorry, go on. Really sad. My name's Women Jeff. strippers yeah. are so... <laughs> Sorry, go, go on, on, go on. They're just... I don't know. You guys have probably know this, but they're really smooth at talking. Yeah. And they're really, really smooth at, like, getting you comfortable with them. Who? Who? Female strippers. The one time that I went to a strip club, this female stripper came up to me, and the way she spoke to me was one of the most seductive things I have ever experienced in my life. Even like, you know, the small thing of like, she made sure her knee was touching my knee slightly. And I could tell that she was doing this on purpose, but I was just admiring her abilities. Sorry. Because, you know, I was like, all right, so there's a, I've got uh, $2,000 in my pocket. Let's get married and I'll <laughs> buy you something and then you can like throw me off and leave. But was she attractive or was she 50? She was not that attractive, but like her abilities of seduction made her well, super attractive. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. can make a man feel good and also, yeah. Anyways, we should move on to some of the heady segments. I don't know. <laughs> What's not heady about that? Yeah. Where? You're talking about the seductive mechanism in the brain. <laughs> true, Jeez, true. Yeah. And then I did receive a lab dance too. Would you believe it? And she told me, because I thought that, because uh, I've seen, I'd only seen in the movies, like, because I thought that you're not allowed to touch them or anything. And plus, like, honestly speaking, I was so uncomfortable. I wasn't even keen on touching. Um, So, but like, I was, I was back on my seat and I was... I don't know, thinking of like, oh my God, this is a weird experience. My friend is passed out in a hotel. <laughs> so referring to Jordan. Was I passed out? Well, you were, you, the reason That's why you right. didn't come we got under me. show. Yeah. <laughs> you got, you, you, you. Never s- good when that happens. How could we not? We were in the King's Cross district of Adelaide. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. it is so much seedier than the King's Cross in any other city. I don't know why. Wow. But that one is just sin town. You went right there. to a strip club alone when he was asleep yeah, in a hotel. yeah. He wanted a drink. He wanted to keep the party going. Fair that enough. was the only one that was open. So you f- and there was, wow. again, some cockney guy just being like, you're looking for some fun, are you? And he was just like, I'm looking for drinks. He's like, yeah, yeah, they got that right up there, mate. Don't fair, worry about it. Yeah. Fair, and fair. then so you go there. So she came up to me and I told her, um, which she's probably heard of a million times from Novus customers. I was, I was just like, hey, I'm like, I'm here for the drink. Um, but, but the fucking strip club was empty. So it was a struggle for them. There was one group of really seedy men yeah. Four or five of them. The huge strip club. I reckon that that'd just be normal though in a strip club, wouldn't it? Don't you reckon they're just always half empty at best? I've uh, I've just been yeah, once. Like depends. I don't know. Just depends how how busy the traffic is. This guy's been a lot. I've been to a few, but yeah, it's yeah. Just have a, you? Did you? Okay, yeah. Can you know more about? So like, a real man. Have you, no, the pansies like used to. Have you had? Have you had a lap dance? Yes. Did she offer you like an incredible discount? Uh, I can't remember. I was really drunk. It was on my twenty first. What What was the time again? Three a.m. on yeah, a yeah, Tuesday yeah, yeah. or some shit. Jesus. They must have been desperate. They uh, she was because she told me that normally my lap dance is I don't know like a hundred or something dollars. And what? I was like, well, I don't have that money. <laughs> and then she was like, I don't know that kind okay, of what you got? Five bucks. You <laughs> basically, gum. I was like, she was like, what about forty? I was like, well, I could do forty. Went straight to forty. Forty. Because she could. How much was the drink? Like ten. I don't. I don't see the point of a lap dance. Well, it's the the other thing was like I, I was see the so point nervous it. about it because it was so weird just having like someone dance over you in like such a robotic fashion too. It's not. It's yeah. It's not well, like, so it's not it, that it's, wasn't seductive. Just her speaking was. Yeah, her speaking was seductive. But once she started, <laughs> did you dancing, get hard? No, I couldn't because I was so nervous. I'm not talking about Magic but, Mike. But I did get <laughs> real hot. <laughs> Magic Mike. I forgot guy. I was talking to Ali. Uh, yeah, I, I shot in his anus like my scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Involuntarily that's as a, well. There's an image. And he just went really straight through the pants because the erection was so quick. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 
<laughs> but who, Fuck, man. Who talking Guys, this is Twitch. This is not the Uplate pod. <laughs> but as always, if you do like this, this is what the Uplate no, pod no, no, is. No, no, no. It's actually not just this. It's also just like coming of age stories as well. It's not just and this. other yes. political shit. Which ever we, so many misunderstandings. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Anyways, look, we'll move on. But um, let's move on to the first one. I don't know, Jordan, if you're doing a video on this. Well, the audience seems to really like Ali sitting there being like, I could see right in his ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be <laughs> into that. They like it. I'm telling you, man, like that man made me uncomfortable, like how gifted he was at everything that he was doing. And I can, this is how I console myself. He's gay. He's not in the market. He's not part, because he's winning every competition, that guy. Right, <laughs> right. You look like that. You dance like that. You mm. probably fuck like a beast too. <laughs> Anyways, um, Jordan, I, are you doing a video on this? But if <sighs> you are, then we can move on to the next one. Well, I think the- Fat Dyke on Crack has always come up with the goods. Uh, in the pre-show, which you can get if you become a patron member, they were saying that they highly recommend that a video that we should do on the main channel is Ali's top 10 strap-on reviews. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this guy uh, just, like, got to prep I don't even know if she's a chick oh, or not, but whatever. She's, the point Christ. is, they're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. You, want, you said you want views. How badly do you want views? Get Ali involved. <laughs> Fuck. No. Yeah, we got to do it. Like, I've got, can't do that. <laughs> yes, you can. And, and you're wearing this too while you're yeah. fucking doing it. <laughs> it's like a Mia Khalifa man version. Um, <laughs> no, Jordan, uh, I, uh, I don't know because we haven't spoken about this, but should we talk about the, the revelations in the Liberal Party and the rape culture? Is that what you're doing a video on? I was going to do a video on it. Then it did actually get broken. All I know about it is a bit of behind the scenes baseball, which was that it was broken in the Murdoch press. The rest of the press didn't want to report it because they're all just a bunch of conditioned seals. And so (laughs) they even when it was... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a funny term. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a funny. It's so apt. Like, it's very, it's very great imagery. Just people like seals in in, in suits. Sorry, go on. And oh, 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 oh. all I know from it is that I can't remember who it was, but it is the one journalist that I do like at the Murdoch Press because usually she was the one that when Gladys Berejiklian was caught out under ICAC, she was. The only person in the press, but this was because she was given the window to actually say it before the press decided what their narrative was going to be and completely changed it to, but she's in love. Mm. But (laughs) she came out almost instantly, I think, because she knew that that window was closing and was saying, this is just straight up corruption. She should resign today. She was out there saying that to any outlet that would listen to her. who are you talking about? I can't remember her name, but she's from news.com. Oh, and she's obviously been put in news.com. She's obviously one of the bigger heavy hitters in the Murdoch but press. how is she involved in this? Oh, she's re- she, she was the one that first. broke it. And so she must have done some serious arm wrestling behind the scenes because well, the Murdoch press would not want that to be reported. Well, the facts are fucking insane. Like there was, li- there was, this wasn't sexual harassment. This was straight rape. up rape. In really? the corridors, in right? The, in, in like what? The, in like, uh, what's her name? Is, it, is she the foreign minister, the attorney general? Um, her office. It was a staff. Who, Julie Bishop. No, no, not Julie Bishop. Um, you know the. <laughs> I'm gonna say she looks like she has a fat dag on crack. <laughs> <laughs> I but don't know who that is. No, 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 that's mean. I don't know who that is. Sorry, she's the. Uh, she's. Well, I'll Google her while we do this. But it was in her office. It was her staffers, and uh, and this this lady, one of her staffers, was um, raped. But also the other thing that. By an MP, right? No, no, by a staffer as well. Another staffer. But another staffer. But the the controversy is that um, the Liberal Party claims that as soon as they found out about it, they were really, really focused on how to resolve this. She told her, you need to uh, contact the AFP immediately. They're basically saying that we ticked off all of the checklists that we're supposed to in these protocols. She is saying that that's not correct. She is saying that I was in a bad situation where I was uncomfortable and... I felt like I'm going to face the rat if I come out with this. And sh- she was saying, if I'm not paraphrasing her incorrectly, and I could be wrong, she was saying that I was being put in a position where the easier option would be to just forget about it. But I could be complete, I could be wrong about this. That's what my understanding of the facts were. So that's the real controversy. That not only is it just a sexual harassment in the sense that like, uh, maybe he was trying to hit on her, maybe he just has a super flirty way. It was more like... There was a rape. 
the, 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 this female staffer that was raped reported it being as rape. And then there was the initial hesitation to bring it out or bring it out uh, or not to bring it out. Yeah. Right. But look, you can see that the press is obviously covering this to a tilt. Because when she broke the story, I think she broke it at the beginning of the day. I could be wrong about the time of the day, but it was only in the afternoon when the rest of the press started picking up on it and reporting it. And already, it's gone. Like that. Bye-bye. Really? What now? I remember what I was just saying in the uh, How to Solve a Problem Like Friendly Geordies. Mm. Allegation of inappropriate touching by Luke Foley. Hounded. Hounded until he was forced to step down. This is a rape. Now, apparently it's alleged or whatever. But it's completely out of the press. It's gone. Really? Bye-bye. Well, now, today's news story that I read was uh, Jody McKay supports a pedophile there for we go. Yeah, yeah, I That's what I go. read I saw that. Well, we I, look, on my little gym session, they were still covering... They, they, did, cover, uh, they did cover the rape story. But then straight after, yeah, it was just like, Jody McKay supports rapist from overseas or something like that. Yeah, pedophiles yeah, isn't from overseas. it a bit coincidental, isn't it? And they're going to sink her as well, I reckon. They, they, really? They, well, but Jody, this okay. is the whole thing that's genius about what the press has done to the Labor Party is that they've just completely... When it comes to the federal leader like Bill Shorten, right, he does enough soft news, he goes on enough Studio 10-like shows that people have some semblance of what his personality is like. So when there's a story that comes out about him that's just pure character assassination, it's not as easy to stick. But when it comes to Jody McKay... Who the fuck talks to her about it before, uh, apart from me? I've heard two news reporters call her Jodie Mackay. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce her name. Uh, That's funny. funny. It's so sad. It's funny. You know, so when it comes to it, because the only thing that anyone is ever going to remember about Jodie Mackay fuck. is that... Fuck. You're just having flashbacks about Rye. Um, <laughs> Rye. Mm. Shout out. And again, I think he was honestly as nice as Jodie McKay. Yeah. They were really yeah, up there. They were legends, both of them. But Same person. When it comes to her, what's going to happen? No one has any knowledge about that woman at all, except for, isn't she the one that likes pedophiles? Mm. No one mm. likes pedophiles. Also, There's no one on earth that like. <laughs> I don't think pedophiles like yeah. pedophiles. And yeah. also, maybe, look, look, maybe Michael Jackson. That's the one that broke the barrier. <laughs> Every other pedophile is despised. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I highly fucking. They try. I reckon it's trying to also just play into that whole thing of like Hillary Clinton, PJ Gate. Yeah. You know, it, it like it plays into, but it also is just a massive smear. But it's look, same thing. The last three Labor leaders, Luke Foley. Uh, accused of inappropriate touching. Uh, Michael Daly, oh, my God, he said the word Asian once. <laughs> Jody McKay, <laughs> sorry, Mackay, as we just learned, Mackay. Mackay. Uh, McCain's. Pedo pleaser. Loves pedophiles now, apparently. Tammy and pedophiles too. But Double the whammy. <laughs> he's brown and he has sex with children. But, dude, don't you think that mm. that is... If you think about it, you ask the average person, first of all, everyone is just like, who the fuck are these people, which is a crime in and of itself, because... I th- honestly do think that premiers are more powerful than prime ministers. Really? In the area, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because wow. the, the prime minister is really just doling out money. Yeah. The premier is the one that's spending it. Right. Um, but the last three opposition leaders, I bet even if anyone knew anything about them, that's all they would know about them. Their scandal. That's it. Yeah. And I mean, so, I, I mean, <clears throat> and, and, I, and like, yeah. I do question the dropping of this because obviously the Liberal Party leaked this. They wanted to give it something so that the press cycle had something else that it could, you know, even justifiably flick to. And it's obviously the top story when it's nothing. It's just slander. Are you saying mm. they just keep it in like a bank? They've got these of course. details and they'll just release it whenever. When it's convenient. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's very, very calculated. Politics is an awful awful sport (laughs) and everybody that i speak to in it is just like the thing that just keeps getting honed over and over again is that old phrase i used to always think it's so hackneyed but by gum it's stuck around for a long time if you want friends in politics get a dog (laughs) (laughs) it's very true that's brutal it is really brutal because there's 
the other thing as well when it comes to the Labor Party, did somebody in the Labor Party leak it? They could have. Could have just been some faction attack or something. Dang. But like I I don't think that that's the case. But it's like if if I was the if I was Jody, I would just be like you just like if you're in politics, doesn't matter what party you're in, like anyone can be stabbing you in the back. Fucking anyone. That's brutal. You know? The only journalist that I saw give Jody like a proper platform was actually Prawny. Exactly. You know, yeah, Prony. of course he did. Prony. He did really good. He's one. a good boy. Well, he's happy. Speak. He's just got a hat, new because wife. You know, even the he's in a good mood. Even the controversy Ratcha-cha. is bullshit. Hey? Like she didn't actually recommend this guy to no, get No, she didn't. She just it just came across her desk. She probably didn't even look at it. No, but like it wasn't even a recommendation. It was more like um, some other uh, political group was doing the recommendation and her thing was that I am aware of this group. Like something yeah. like that. It wasn't recommending that guy personally. Yeah. It was more like, you know, MPs have to like look after constituents kind of yeah. shit. But the, the, but the news report did say that apparently the prior Labour, uh, you know, leader guy uh, supported that man Monas dude, the, the terrorist attack. Apparently he was just like, give him amnesty too. And I was like, mm, that's quite troubling. But I don't know the details. But even like you know, you know the, that's the sad part about Monas. Like, well, how we we're, we're five six years on from now, we know a lot more about that episode. And it turned out that Mental Monas hits. wasn't you know like one of those London bombers or those Paris. They he was he was kind of a crazy man who didn't even have contacts with I- ISIS. He didn't even have a flag. He asked like the police to get him a flag. Usually these guys come with a flag if they're <laughs> so. He was and the fact that like two people died in that. From the police investigation, we know that it was uh, uh, a case of uh, um, friendly fire. Like, they were trying to kill Monas, and they ended up... Sh- so, yeah. he didn't even kill... The- but the entire thing about, like, how the entire press just picks it up as, like, labor is was letting in uh, terrorists. When it was, like, it was a crazy man who wasn't even part of, like, some intense sleeper cell who could have been handled, I guess, slightly better, but... The whole thing is, yeah, you let in these boat people in there. He wasn't even a boat person. He came here like in fucking nineties or some shit. He was. No That's one cares what's about so the facts. So pathetic about it as well. It's just, it's so frustrating that. What has the Labor Party got? Superior policies in every portfolio. I would argue to any party in the country, maybe to shooters and fishers, you know, <laughs> but. What does it take to beat them? Smears. Just telling. That's all the fucking press does is just dob on them mm. all the time for bullshit. That's, yeah. that's, that's what they're up against constantly is just these false character attacks and that beats having a better society. <laughs> Isn't that fucking sad? Like even if yeah. all of the allegations on all of the Labour leaders were correct to a T, yeah. you know, like the Jody McKay... Loves pedophiles and stuff <laughs> like that. Like, I don't think anyone thinks that. When you're weighing it up to the world, like what, what right, the right, liberals right. really policy, like implement policy. when they're in, you know. So is it's this just, is this is this whole rape story going to damage the libs? Surely it will. What? Well, it should. You'd imagine that. I mean, it it's should. It's a big yeah. ass crime. Like, yeah, just, like it should damage them. Like if that dude, if that happened, dude, I reckon if that same situation happened in Labor. The party would have to like shut down. It would cease to exist. Yeah, they, they like, cancel. All right, the fucking parking meters part, the party yeah. is now the official opposition. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. They're fucking, they can't come back from this. Like it's weird. And then it seems and like, the, the which would frankly wouldn't be bad. Everyone. Would not be bad. But I just can't see, I can't see the libs um, not being damaged by this. I mean, I don't even know the details of it, but like, I just well, I don't the understand is, how they couldn't be, dam- how couldn't tarnish them. It mo- once we find out more about how they handled it, then we would know if it damages them or not. Right, because didn't you say that's the controversy? More that about- is. That's what that's what the the, the female staff or the um, the victim is saying. But we'll find out more about it. And man, they're also fucking the Liberal Party is a Teflon party. Like whatever, it doesn't stick to them. They eventually just come out like, well, they are the better economic managers. <laughs> Always, always the... And yeah. didn't like, so apparently Scott Morrison, something else was trending just now while I was looking at the news. Scott Morrison, he said something about 
when he was initially asked about the rape, he was uh, kind of just like loosely responding to it. And then he came back and he did a stronger one saying like, I spoke to my wife, Jenny. And yeah, she I, said, saw that. I saw that. What if it was one of our daughters? Thank and then I thought, hey, that's right. This is not wrong. This is not right. Like apparently he did not know so rape staged. was bad. <laughs> it's yeah. so staged. Yeah, it is very staged. Yeah. That How does anyone not see through that? I think I suppose do. that's the whole thing with like saying it. It doesn't matter if people see through it or not. It's just better than not saying it. I don't even know. I, I'm very yeah. I'm interested to see what happens from it because. Do you think it would be a better tactic if he was just like, instead of like, because really you could just replace the words with, and then I talked to my chief advisor, <laughs> and then my chief advisor pointed out, you know you should probably say something different to what you said. So I'm coming out now and I'm saying that. No, that wouldn't be better. Well, I think <laughs> you don't think? I no. think it's like he's basically saying it. Yeah, but he's not saying it literally. But, yeah. you know, it might be working. You know what was trending yesterday, according to our producer? Hashtag Scotty does nothing was trending yesterday all day. So maybe it is having an effect. What, on Twitter? Why? On Twitter. Or maybe like but Twitter isn't reality. Let's remember that. I think Twitter True. is the definition Twitter of Twitter is like mostly millennials. Yeah, and it's also... No, it has boomers too, actually. Twitter is... Yeah. Twitter is no, no, no. I'm saying there's a com- common- commonality here. They're all narcissists. That is correct. And that I don't think that's a reflection true. of, like, you know, farmers or whatever. <laughs> Most The majority of people, like, the majority of people living in regional areas, you know? Yep, that is, that is correct. All right. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I, look, I don't know the details, but um, I would be surprised if it just blew over, you know? Well, we'll find out more about it. Mm. Hopefully there is some sort of an investigation into it and they don't completely brush it under the carpet. But see, here's the whole thing. If it is a media investigation... uh, Sorry, if it is an investigation and it happens within parliamentary confines... Yeah, they'd look it up and they'd be like, we came up to the conclusion that everything is perfect. Let's move on. No, no, no. I think that they will, you know, find what actually happened and make the right procedures. They definitely will. Mm. But it's always that same thing. If the shoe was on the other foot. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's just the end. That's the end of the Labour. You're right. It's just the parking meter party is the new opposition. <laughs> if, that, if that happened, that would be the response. Can you imagine the uh, the opposition, like the Libs say some like sort of like, you know, budget reform, like they do their big speech in the budget and the parking meter party is just like, <clears throat> and it's just like 89% about parking meters and the last 10% is like, and... Uh, Speeding tickets. We that think no, 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 not even that. They're just like that's one percent. They just yeah, that's one percent, and the rest are just going to just like, hey, we have to be pragmatic here with the Danny. All right, we, we don't support coal, but we're gonna we're gonna find a way. <laughs> Everything else is just sort of like too many parking meters, like, and also they're the wrong color. And we've got we have a history of parking meters right here, Mister Speaker. Right I don't here. think anyone else in the chamber has read this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look at the look at the prime minister. He is still. You can look look how grey he is. He was around when we still had to put coins in the parking meters, Mister Speaker. Coins, coins. coins. No, 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 no. You can yeah, you can yeah, yeah, all you, you wouldn't want. remember it. You wouldn't remember it. The fine member of Waverley. Yeah, you've got your credit card, but these <laughs> ones out in Bankstown still have to get the coins. Who? Who has coins anymore? We're almost a cashless society, Mr. Speaker. That's the only reason he cared about the cashless economy like <laughs> legislation before. This is like, how are you supposed to pay that? They're just automatically finding you, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got the coins on the Harbour Bridge anymore. Hypocrisy, Mr. Speaker, hypocrisy from those Your opposite. My name is Scott Morrison. <laughs> Sits down. Bob Catter, here, here, that's it. <laughs> just, just him and Bob Catter, they're the only ones in Parliament. He's Dude, talking to sense. Like, come on. I hope, that, I hope that, <laughs> that Labor is involved in a huge scandal that ends them just for that. It's just <laughs> <laughs> for the meme. And the irony of that would be like, damn, I was the most on the ball out of everyone because I did vote for the poking meter party a few times. Yeah. Jesus Christ, miss. Uh, miss I'm- is the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> the common man personified. The common man. Here's another question for you. That was uh, asked. That Our parking meter is too high. Well, I think we all know Miss Hub's answer saying is you voted for them. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't need my answer. I think my, my ballot speaks for itself. <laughs> Miss, so we've got, a, we've got a request for you to yeah. answer this. What are your views on Trump being impeached? 
Oh, well, it's funny you mentioned that because actually, like, this is really pathetic, but I get all my news while I'm on the treadmill in the gym, literally. And uh, it was like, ABC talking panel, that fat Italian Republican, some other person, uh, some token, like, uh, Democrat and an independent. And they just talked about it. It's, he's been acquitted. Yeah, 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 we know that. But what's your take on it? Do you My think take? it's a tra- travesty of justice or do you think it's uh, justice being done? I don't have a like, I don't have a uh, like super partisan like opinion. I think that it's kind of, I, kind of, I think at this point it's kind of irrelevant. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think. I do not think it's irrelevant. I, I feel like at this point it might, it's kind of irrelevant. Like my, my opinion on it essentially is like, um, what are the like? What are the disadvantages? What are the advantages? In terms of the judiciary, the justice systems, you can argue that it is the. You could argue that it should be done, but if if he were to be impeached, wouldn't the only result he can't run again? Right? He couldn't. No, run again. he could go to jail. So what? What this was? was look, I don't. I don't already look, been here's impeached. the thing. Here's the thing. I don't know that that speech he did or whatever. Was uh, w- amounts to inciting violence. I don't know if it's. I look. I think it was pretty ridiculous, <laughs> and it was pretty wild. That it was like, and then the bullshit exploded like a, a, a president just outside the thing, the White House just being like, it's bullshit. It's like probably shouldn't have done that, dude. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have done. It was funny and entertaining. Like it was like what that was bizarre, but I do, it probably shouldn't have done that. The question is, did that directly incent violent? Incent violence. I don't know because I didn't watch it all. I don't. I don't know. I don't know exactly what was well, there's said. There's some new footage out that I still haven't seen, but it's uh, it's got funny things like uh, Mitt Romney running running away from a crowd, being really scared. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I really want to say that. Know, but also, you know you know, also, but that's the crux up? of the argument. If he incited it, but anyway, go but on. Apparently, AOC was locked in a bathroom. And she was hearing voices outside. Where's AOC? Where's AOC? Can you what? Imagine that? Fucked. Holy shit. They would have killed she was her. She pissing her pants. Whoa. And dude, they would have fucked up AOC in that moment. She's the boogeyman. Well, she didn't deserve to die. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Well, we don't know what would have happened, but man, I yeah. don't think it would have been pretty. I'm nah. glad she was not found. That's wild. They would have like if at that least happened, tied her up and shit. If that's they, ha- they would not yeah. have just left nah, her. Nah, if that happened, that's wild. But yeah, to answer but that- Did they meet yeah. any politicians? They must have. No, I think I like most politicians were evacuated. Like they were security. Where did they go? Well, the AOC went into the fucking bathroom. Jesus. Uh, Mitt Romney, according to this new video, is just seen running in a corridor. <sighs> like, oh my god! Oh my god! That's <laughs> amazing. Mitt Romney. Eh, this is a great a, a service of taxitude. Just running away. Uh, <laughs> but the other thing that's happened but that's is my that <sighs> seven Republicans. Voted to impeach him. Voted to. This is not impeach. This is convict. There's a difference. To convict. To convict. To put him in jail. And but what are the, the arguments? Tr- the Trump base is not happy about it. They're like, uh, it's time it is for a fact. Back. They, it's like a fact. They are this saying that we're bloodthirsty. In the Republic. You want to get these seven traitors. Yeah. There's like uh, a Four split. of them are apparently up for re-election. Trump is really bold now. He's like, finally, this witch hunt is over, and now the movement properly begins. What, what does, does that mean? mean? I think it oh, means he's gonna that Trump he's just going to hold the Republican Party hostage. <clears throat> he's going to start off by making sure that these seven people are never Finally, elected again. Finally, some justice. <laughs> yeah, and, and all these guys like uh, the Mitch McConnells and, you Mc- know, the McConnell. ones that are like uh, kind it's of... It's so amazing Trump. that the Koch brothers spent 50 years trying to create the infrastructure to do it, and that man is so <laughs> charismatic that he is beats t- the greatest machine <laughs> ever made. <laughs> 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 by is. just getting up and being like... Yeah, no one wants me to say it. I'm going to say it. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of flaws about the man, but can Fuck. we be honest about something? He's right about the straws. Like we- The straws? The, straw man? 
No, like the straws don't work. Like he's making that as like a thing of climate change is stupid, but no, those he's bloody not. straws do not work. Dude. And, and no one had the balls to say it because we all want climate to that's, be preserved, but someone had to come out and say it. That's what you. That's we, the hill you're going to die on, the straws. The straws do not work. Fuck. They fucking melt in Just 10 minutes. Just drink faster, dude. No one has the balls to say it. It's like, hey, The only reason sure you agree solution. with it is because there was Seinfeld music played behind you. Yeah, himself. that's why. No, it's because- And I, that did make me agree with it as well. I also feel it every time like I always been like uh, just look whenever at you go to a movies and you get like one of them big uh, Diet Coke ones that you have to keep throughout the movie and the fucking straw just dissolves I was like well I'm glad Trump said it because someone had to. The straws that's do not, not work. That's not like, worth we turtles need to come dying. Up with a bad straws. That's not worth turtles I'm not, dying. But I'm saying we're not done with that technology. It needs to expand. <laughs> but how's it expand? I do You're expanding know. it into plastic. Can we get Elon Musk to like look into this as well? That's your hill to die on. Come on. Look, all I'm saying is if fucking Venice 1,000 years you got ago my script. Could, could, could make a way to like have this uh, water clogged city and put the basin- uh, Dude, there are like better- <laughs> yeah, But I don't yeah, think they're do the straws. greatest minds on earth- There is better technology. This. Maybe there is something that you can have a straw that uh, uh, is formed automatically by having like a tiny hydro collider around the ring of- that plastic like lead, is maybe new, that works. But you know how there there's, uh, like, according to Scotty, already, there's good so coal. Cool. Isn't there like good plastic that we can use for just straws? It already is a thing. And like make it bigger than the tortoise's nose so it doesn't go in. Is that what it is? Or is it the, they try and eat it? Man, no, like they're the, trying to eat it. The, one, the thing that like made me upset about it yeah, and never called that. out those straws was that I saw- You have solved it. No, there's already- It's called a bottle. No, there's already these straws. That's the annoying thing. They've made them really no, good. They're, they're, none of them work. None no, them they work. do, they do. Some of them are actually like really good now. They, they It's like a cardboard. Uh, sorry, okay, thanks live. Cradboard. Sorry, sorry, cardboard infused or some well, shit. Okay. Eco straws, these things, they're like cardboard. They, they work perfectly where they work for like 10 drinks. There's your answer. <laughs> Those things are really good. Fuck, I feel like I've aged 20 years just listening to all of this. The, like this is not like the a big very issue. old man sitting yeah. here. Being like, What's with that? It doesn't work. It does work. So I'm that's all for that. the environment, but, but I'm also for drinking well, my soda. How about this? Tim Chuma just said, because there were suggestions to use a metal straw and Tim Schumer just said, my metal straw got taken out by airport security when I was leaving for the US. No, well, who cares yes, about, right. and Jordan this? knows this, I get stopped by now. airport security every fucking time. How about this, drink without a We'd straw. We'd both be walking together and they would be like, hello sir, good morning to you, Jordan, and you sir, we're gonna check you for explosives. Yeah, well, maybe doing not this wear the traditional Yeah, yeah maybe Muslim don't garb. fucking wear that, maybe. <laughs> Jesus, they're doing their they're doing their civic duty, Ali. Christ, you're already supporting Man Monus in the thing. Oh yeah, well, and how many bombs could you fit under like, there? Honestly, Jesus Christ, I'm not supporting Man Monus. I'm just saying. No, I know, I know. I'm just, I, I'm yeah, just yeah, teasing yeah. you. But with the with the uh, with the thingy with the uh, with the with the fucking impeachment argument that what it comes down to is like so obviously okay, so they, they think that there's people that are saying he incited the mob i don't i don't know i honestly don't know i haven't watched the whole speech you have to watch it all obviously um but what are the other things that they are trying to impeach him on what the, are the, the other the, the seven republicans that said he should be convicted but for what their for argument what? was that you could reasonably assess by his speeches and his twitter that he he might not have wanted to incite violence, but he did want the uh, the the politicians to be intimidated by the crowd. Yeah, so it's not the same. This is what I was arguing, and everyone got angry at me for. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think that's. A, I mean, look, I'm not a lawyer, but I I don't know. It's it's like a nuanced area. The thing is, because you can get intimidated by having a. You know, 10,000 tweets sent to you. It's subjective, right? Yeah. What, what intimidates you personally is subjective. Some people don't get intimidated by a fist in the face. Some people get inter- intimidated by a, a glance. Well, look, But you're the lawyer, dude. I know, I know, but it is a tricky one. I think maybe but you're right. And if this was not a Senate jury and if it was like at the court, you're probably right. Because most of these things need to be uh, beyond reasonable doubt that there was incitement. So it probably wouldn't hold in court, but that doesn't make it untrue. Like the intimidation aspect is but, by force. But is that it? Is that That's it? how you well, intimidate. It clearly from the speech that I, look, yeah, I didn't the same thing is like, you have to watch it, but they were obviously showing on CNN the most insightful, Egregious, things. Yeah. of course they were. 
like, why would they be holding that away of just, yeah, no, True. we need to preserve his legacy. Yeah. I mean, the no bullshit way. statement is like very unpresidential. I don't think he should be is impeached. Is that a crime? No, I don't think he should be impeached for saying bullshit. Well, if you don't get impeached for that, then what the fuck do you get impeached for? What, for saying bullshit? No, not for bullshit, but for like- But it's the line. Having a very volatile crowd that are willing to do anything. Well, that's subjective like too, saying, isn't it? Yeah, keep- How do you know they're willing yeah, to Yeah, but that? I just think that from what I heard, he was just being like, and we are gonna march up and we're gonna make a lot of noise with placards and we're gonna make it bad for them when they walk in by calling them names. Well, like it really looks like that's well, what that's he was still saying not there. good either to be able to, to well, say we're going to call them names. That's what every protest is. It, is, is. It like, it's just a bunch of people calling names. Right. It's not good. Look, by no measure was his activity good. But I guess the question isn't was it good or bad. The question was it was a criminal. Exactly. I can't answer that. So that I don't know is a question that I don't but is there, have. But the is there anything to. else? On the list of what they want to impeach for, is there anything else? No, it was just the- Just that. Yeah, just that. But why did they try to impeach him the first time then? Before that. So, okay. So he they, he didn't get, would you mean like An a attempted. few years ago when he was- Yeah, they were like, mush, mush the impeach. That was for uh, Russia stuff. Russia. So yeah, that was bullshit, right? So that was yeah. Russia. Gate. That was completely bullshit. Yeah. Like I am, but this one is not completely bullshit in my view. Well, again, yeah, look, so my opinion is it's it devils in the details and I don't know. Like you can't, why, why would you try to act on emotion in this thing? Like, well, I think this, I think this, like I would consult various lawyers, bipartisan lawyers. Well, I guess look- uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he was, so- Christ, what, what, what a bizarre so turn of events. Even though. in impeachment, there are two things. So there's the impeachment by Congress, which he's already been impeached, which is Fuck that- Miss, you're just such a pimp these days. What are you talking about? Wait, are you Every looking three at his seconds, hinge? Bumble, Tinder, there we go. It just <laughs> never stops. Not true. That's not it's accurate. True. It's that is true. not digital accurate. ladies, man. It's not accurate at all. It's we like are proud of imagine when he becomes a it comes to that black mirror level and you can just upload your consciousness onto the internet. Wow. What ghost what in the time. shell. Yeah, ghost in the shell. You would be such a Casanova in that environment. I wonder what the vast uh, I wonder what treasures the in, the, the the net holds for me. And then I just jump into the like stratosphere and it's just like coffee and bagel. Brrr. Yeah. That's what that I really <laughs> think that you just go in there and you're basically <sighs> Dan Bilzerian before everyone found out he was a fake. So I just don't know if he was anybody a, now. He was who, a fake. Well, I don't know. I've just seen on title covers of people just being like the moment Dan Bilzerian was exposed for the life he is. He doesn't have sex with a woman every day of the year. Oh. He has sex 364 times, which I oh. suppose <laughs> is maybe on a leap year, but other than that, I thought, I? I thought While you I'm on the topic of clearing it up, you should also know Jody McKay is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> or is a pedophile's <laughs> Um, yeah, look. Jesus, there's so many fucking egregious things on this podcast. Yeah, there are. Trump didn't do shit. Jody. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, that was your words, Miss Love. I think everyone (laughs) agrees. Ladies love it. (laughs) There's just so many. Well, you think I go on Bumble, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Um, Oh my God, it's still going. Sorry. (laughs) Dude, it, it's insane. Look oh, at it's not hands. insane. Look at his no, can we just? It's can like, you just reply to some of these live? No, we won't put in any names. No, we'll just, no, no. Yeah, come on. Who, who wants to see Actually, it? No, who wants to not, see it? Definitely not because some of them watch this. <laughs> oh, just give me that phone. Back. They, oh, wait, oh, wait, just start. We're not doing that Frantically live, messaging him now. If you're watching this and you're contacting Miss on Tinder, but you should be contacting him on Twitch for our metrics. <laughs> is this and, and it'd just be public the and it'd be much better. Sake. Just go on Twitch. This is not happening. Why is it happening? I don't know, it's too funny. It's happening. It's too black mirrory. Why? All right. All right uh, let me let me no, just, just I'll fast assess the situation. Tracking emotion and getting you into the net when you're ready for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just talking about the fact that when you will be an avatar pimp when it when that happens. An that av- thing that I was talking about. An avatar. Look at it. He's got okay, so I'm many, st- and he nah, just nah, got nah, a nah, message. Nah, nah. Come on, you're not getting <laughs> away like that. Really I'm I know your password because it is uh, in Miss Love Style, the laziest password. You let may me, as well not have look, one. Let me hold on, hold on. And you've got to see this last one. Jesus Christ. You know what? His password, I, let's see if people can guess his password. One, let's two, just three, start four. doing it. It's lazier than that. Oh, I, I know what his password is. It's like yeah. a trip before eight or something, right? Close. See, look, you're giving the game Keep away. Keep guessing. The game's uh, gone. God. Now, come on. Now, let's see Sorry. what's happening on Tinder. All right, you just have fun, I suppose. Just don't fucking... 
but it's my life. Hey, g- give us a bio of the, the one. No, no, you're not doing that. No, not names, just a bio. No, it's not. No, no names. No, no, don't do give that. Give us like the one he's no. really into. Let's see. The no, person. shut. They're, they're watching live. You're going to fuck they? me. No, yeah. There's one taking currently taking watching. I, pro- I think. I'm sure they're flattered, miss, without taking their name. No, don't don't divulge someone's private inter- well, information. Wow, this one, and this is very rare for a woman, likes dogs. Oh, incredible. <laughs> this is so fucking... S- ah! You scared? You're fucking my chance. You're fucking me. Dude, you're killing is, is me. Your, no, but I will say this. She's very pretty. <sighs> okay. You're doing very well. Are you I'm not doing are you anything. anything. Too well. Too well. No, wait. Stay away who I'm looking at right now. He's... Is he Casanova? Were you on right? Tinder? Were you on? Yes. And he was looking at the girl? Hey, miss, miss. Shut up! Miss, miss. Do you know how Ali felt for like a year and a half? <laughs> Is this how it was for Ali? Yeah, dude. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, why? Pod. But it's not, there's no one on Bumble anyway. You're lying. Yeah, this is lies. Oh, except for one of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life is really? on Bumble. Really? No. The one that yeah, but no one's to? talking on it. No, Jordan, you're lying. What? Sorry. Hey, everybody. There's no, they're so, ex- he's just lying. He's just no, exaggerating. I saw Bumble and Tinder. No, you, hey, you, you were imagining that. Oh, um, right. Okay. I get what's happening here. Yeah, sure, Miss Love. It, it, there's it no. Happened. No one well, was talking. Look, you're literally talking shit. Yeah. yeah. Goddamn liar. And you've got like a pending like. No, that's not pending. That's. What th- is this? This isn't. Yes, it's, you're on Airbnb. That's <laughs> Bumble, you idiot. And, and you know how these things get you? <laughs> They're like, buzz, buzz. Someone's waiting for you on the other line. Oh, really? Is it, it could be my wife. Yes, yes, it's your future wife. Just seven, one time, multiple time easy payments of one hundred ninety seven dollars. Oh, Hell no, I didn't Dude, pay I for reckon, it. It's a scam. Those, like, it's a scam. Or those, like, uh, so I'm not killing at all. It's just like it's just like seventeen bots are waiting for you on the other line. Not true. He's he's killing. Oh, it. He's killing. Lies. Is Straight no up. one on there? You just told you just you and for some reason killing it. Oh, for fuck's sake! And look at all these people on Twitch. <laughs> What's going on with all these ladies here? <laughs> oh, magic! My people way, like it too. By the way, when you walked in, so for all right, how many how many guys out there would show Miss Lovey's anus? Just send him some anus pictures. Many. Send them through to his Instagram Ali. Yeah, Why? Yeah. Wait, what's going on here? That's Swiss. the whole point because, yeah, look, oh, and Ali, Ali uh, will guess the password to Miss Love's Instagram and he'll go in. Yeah. And he'll have a look as well. So they'll My both Instagram, get a shot. What's, uh, but punish Ali. Don't send male anus pictures to him. Send yeah, them yeah. Please I've don't send me that. Please. <laughs> send him that. Like, well, I'm not. Inst- I'm not. I'm never on Instagram no, anymore. But anyway. you're you're like a you're the eligible bachelor. We in the park, have right? a lot of people that are willing to send their anus. You you <sighs> walked in so far. <laughs> just before we started recording, for those of you that we were recording Jordan's self help channel, which by the way, shout out. Jordan shout is going to be doing that live so as well on the same channel now. before the pod. Yeah. But so Miss Love was uh, Miss Love just walks in naked. Yeah. Well, I didn't know it was fucking filming. Yeah, and how, how are you being so sanctimonious now? I don't know what that means. Like, oh my god, nudity! And then you just walk in and give me a hug naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <laughs> it's yours. No, I disagree. You're the one that was hugging you, idiot. No, I disagree. What do you mean? Y'all had your fucking cameras rolling. It was basically a snuff film. It was a Serbian film, and I was the rape victim. So, so you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. But what you I guys was saying are Jody McKay. But the, just putting the, <laughs> the comments were all talking about how Pale. people would want to fuck you. Well, what? thank Were you, they? young. Yeah, thank yeah. you for all what, the in, bum, uh, in in Twitch. On Pumpful. Twitch, yeah. When he was walking naked. Well, thank like, you yeah. for all the men that said that. It's very I, men, I appreciate women, that. Who knows? You're Genius has just, just commented. I swear these guys are gay. And at this point, your guess is as good as yeah, mine. Well, I don't even know. I mean, anymore. yeah. Let's be honest. The whole probably. joke was how I like getting pegged in the ass. Joke. That's pretty gay. Joke. Yeah, but it's it's just not just. <laughs> And right, that's so where we, Ali likes to stay. Yeah, in that in middle one of his zone. favorite YouTube channels, the Grey Zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's all about hey, we're, look, we're all we're, we're open for anything. Wink, and I'll I'll speak for all of us. We're all, we're we're always up for a fun time. Yeah. Humidor we? writes, "Fuck, does he really want hairy, pasty anuses? <sighs> yes, yes, he does. Humidor, he wants dude. lots loves of them." them. That's you know what this is? You know what this is? This is part of the- He's so horny. This is, <laughs> you know what this is? This is part of the contract. Like this is sort of just like, nah, being in a podcast is mad. Being a D grade celebrity, you're just killing it. It's like, yeah, you know, Patreon is great. It's just like, well, is there any downsides? We're like, no, there's no <laughs> currency at all. Well, there is a currency. You, you will get 
intense pornographic images that you won't be able to know. <laughs> you won't be able to know if they're pornographic or not until you open them because you can't see them till you fucking open them. It just says photo received and, then, and it's instantaneous. So it's just forced. You know, I don't know, abuse, abuse. So it, it, it's all good. You just get abused. You have to take it. When you're getting <laughs> laid me as much as you are. Well, how am I? As much, well, once every six out. weeks. Yeah. Not true. Again, once every six weeks. It's not. It's once every well, six times two, three weeks. Why do both just play this down so because much? Ali you was such up. a pimp when he was in the road Bum prowl. Style. He was like, no, no, I swear to God, priests have fucked more than me, I swear. But it wasn't true. He was having sex with like he was having sex with multiple women at once. He had a harem, no, a digital harem. But, but at my, at it's because the thing is, it's because the dress though. Yeah, at my peak, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I was uh, really, really in the gaming, the scene, as in like gaming, just dating, whatever. Sorry, but it was, it, well, dude. At peak, it would be like um, I would have two dates in a week or three dates in a week, but not all of them ended up in uh, sex. Yeah, that's just the same as me. But at so least it doesn't matter. Word. You're both Casanovas because <laughs> I just remember that the only time anyone on <sighs> earth would be going on three dates a week it is, is weird. if they were in Seinfeld in the fictional show. Yeah. Not even, not even <laughs> yeah, like yeah, Jerry yeah. Seinfeld in the 90s you would know, not be going on three yeah, dates true. a week. I've got to like, yeah, yeah. Least this I'm was, killing it, Jerry. It's gold. But Miss Love, tell me if this is true for you too. Yes, there were three times a week, but it was always like when it rains, it pours. You would have... Three <laughs> dates in a week for like two weeks, and then you would just have no one for a month. Yes, and totally. you'd be like swiping. It's like, oh my god, I'm ugly. Yeah, totally. and then like again, when you get one match, you just get like boop, 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 straight away. You get like four or five matches. Maybe I don't know it's why like that happens, maybe it's like the dowd, you know, ass. Mm-hmm. Down to ass. It's just like it Which comes is what you'll be in. Changing your Instagram name. <laughs> <laughs> like it's sort of like you know. Yeah, I think I think. Uh, being a spiritual man, he's probably onto this. Well, spiritual is that, man. Is that the same for you? There's this reconciliation. Yeah. Just wearing a uh, shirt. <laughs> looking shirt. Uh, <laughs> nope. Really but, just simple. What are you talking about? You're wearing a cross. Yeah. I'm not wearing an Allah pendant. I'm just wearing That's a thing? ethnic article. There's a clothing. pendant? No, I thought it was yeah. religious. I, I thought, thought that, that was reli- that's not religious. Basically, wearing the post. This isn't even what yeah. Muhammad used to wear. What did that's he not, wear? That is religious. He wore like um, one of those the Sinbad like, shit, the, just the, like puffy the Arabic pants one. and no shirt. Yeah, like the one that's like a maxi. You know, I um, don't know. But, but look, any anyway, all I'm saying is like, yeah, you're probably right. It comes in. It's it's like the waves. You know, it's like it's not true. I'm no. It's it's it's. But you do have a true. lot of those Seinfeld conversations. I remember that, and I still have them with you now. But I remember with Ali. Seinfeld the conversations. Like, so how was the date? Yeah, she's uh, she's good. She's just got big teeth. Big teeth. I've got big teeth. Does that matter? <laughs> well, you know, she, do you think everything else is fine? She's a ten for everything else, but the teeth are too big. But Jerry. this is, but this is like the this is like the uh, this is the, the the realization that your life is Seinfeld. This office, is, he's Jerry, and this is the yeah. fucking apartment. It's ridiculous. It's just like it is ridiculous. S- his girlfriend walks really in. Is. Well, I've done it. I made a hundred grand on an ad, not literally, but you know, like I made 40 grand on an ad. And it's just like, what? My girlfriend can't make more than me. I'm having a crisis. And then I'm there, at like, you know, and then I'm just sort of like, you know what I did yesterday? I drank a case of beer and watched cats, which I literally <laughs> did do, literally did that yesterday uh, with my ex drug friend and uh, a security guard. <laughs> literally happened yesterday, verbatim. I'm not making that up. And his so, ex drug friend was wearing. The <laughs> loudest fedora I've ever seen in my it's life. Incredible. In fact, just to get Ali's reaction, just show. I showed him already. And showed also, me. guys, th- this is actually a uh, little Patreon thing. If 15 people sign up to Patreon, it's not that much. We will post that picture on Patreon. That's Can what we, we're looking uh, for. Yes, yeah, actually, yeah. Patreon. I'm committing to that. We need your yeah, support. Yeah, yeah. We just you hired need a to producer. see how loud this fedora is it's and how Buddha esque his belly. <laughs> Give me another hit. I need a hit. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> and also, <laughs> well, what's the point? They can't see it. Clothes. They're like more flowing than our legs. <laughs> <laughs> the Australian traditional garb. Just wear your mum's clothes. You can't also, even show you know what else picture. is really fucking hilarious about this? <laughs> look at his face. Wait, wait, zoom in. How do you Dude, fucking he zoom? Like, he looks like he's 40. And you know what else is amazing? Don't our other that. high school Sorry. friend is just off camera. They're hitting a bong. 
Just <laughs> this guy sitting there. Uh, yeah, sometimes, it's like, so, like sometimes watching cats. Watching cats. So, yeah, yeah. The jellical, jellical. It was fucking weird. But but, uh, but yeah. stop, look, you can't show the picture. So don't show it now. I can't show the pictures. I won't show the pictures. Don't even describe it. It's, it we want fifteen patreons. But it is definitely. <laughs> we do want fifteen the patrons. No, more than fifteen patrons. Got stuff creeps increasing. Don't um, swipe too hard, or you'll see my we, my private parts again. All right, thirty patrons, and we're posting there. Oh, for fucks! We're just turning Patreon into OnlyFans. Because Miss haven't... Love doesn't know how to use I don't know how to log into my opening fans. I got money on there. I need to get on. I think I got like 160 clams and I really want that. So I got to get on there. Why did you take a photo of the audiobook 1984? Oh, so we could see where we were up to. I wanted to say where I was. Can Damn. you not just scroll through my phone live? Like <laughs> interact with the fucking people. Oh, the- sorry, I forgot we're on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how about sorry, we sorry. move on to our last segment <laughs> because we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. We've got 15 minutes. This segment oh, but is- But the hat. You is like see the hat. The hat. The hat. I'll show the hat. That is so good. Patreon. Uh, come on, we have no incentives. Patreon, sign up. Actually, this, this, this segment- and You know what else as well? Fuck, my life is Seinfeld. Yes. I remember you setting up a Pakistani restaurant and me being like, I think you should make a Pakistani restaurant. No Indian, just Pakistani. And he I is. did. He fucking is. And I'm it a comedian God. that lives in an apartment. It's we have the buzzer being like, it's me. Yeah, yeah, come up. It's that, that's the whole Fuck. thing. You're Kramer. You yeah, are Kramer. I am Kramer. I got a crazy idea. Yeah, yeah. What did you do last night? I, 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 I got really drunk and I watched Cats. Why you watch yeah, yeah. Cats? With my friend, Buck Jack Mingro. What's his name? Bob Sacramento. Bob Sacramento. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's it. I'm fucking, you're right. It was wild, Jerry. Yeah, it was wild, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then also, are you going to you wear, 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 wear that shirt? You have to get into it purely for the fact that you just sit there. And I've noticed, I will say this, I'm, I'm making an official renouncement of my previous statement. Seinfeld isn't bad, but that's what I'm giving it. It's not bad. It's really nice to just turn off your mind, sit there and be like, <sighs> I wish I lived in New York City in 1993. You idiot. You should have learned this years ago. It's that's embarrassing. It. That you that's didn't. it. That's, that's the whole show though. Like really. Yes, so it's like but any- you should have learned this like so long ago. It's yeah, yeah. Embarrassed for, right. I'm, I'm embarrassed sorry, for I'm all sorry. of us. Yeah, I am. And I think that we just need to talk about Seinfeld more in the last 15 minutes of this podcast because we haven't talked about it enough. On this <laughs> we, we, we've talked plenty about Seinfeld. Um, I want to talk about this last podcast Point. because this is legitimately a dire request that I have received. This is this this segment we did for um, Up Late podcast because Ooh. we're most likely either Jordan's going to do a video on this or I'm going to do a video on Holes Ready Life depending on how the script turns out. But this basically the idea stems... From um, I was reading this book, which was called um, <laughs> "Climate Change and the Nation State," and I got some pretty intense realizations from reading the book about how I have looked at this particular topic <coughs> com- Sorry. in a completely wrong manner. <coughs> I did not understand. So you know, well, it, it, the whole thing was like <coughs> about <coughs> excuse me, excuse how um, me. Excuse. The, the Chinese government and the U.S. are fighting over these uh, man-made islands in the South China Sea. And the greater picture of that is that within the next hundred years, those islands are going to be underwater again. Yeah. And so what, what the, the idea was oh. 400 years from now, if a historian looks at us today, what are going to be the noteworthy observations? Like we look at the Roman period. What are the noteworthy... The noteworthy observation would be that these guys had com- their priorities completely wrong. There was a massive tsunami headed towards them in the form of a climate change, and they were more concerned about who has more submarines or who has like you know a slight advantage over like a twenty meter advantage over a political uh, over a, um, a strategic position. Which so is the story of civilizations. Which is the story of civilization, but like we should be able to. Rec- so, the, but that's not the observation itself. The observation came from. When you go into like, how do you solve this? And that's where I realized that my understanding or I, my idea of how to solve climate change was completely wrong. Because we always talk about how like in the 70s and the 80s, when climate change had just come up as an issue, it used to be a Republican issue. And the Republicans were really motivated to do something about it. Why was that? Well, the question, the more, more of that question, well, they were they're conservative, so they wanted to conserve the environment. It comes naturally to them. But the more important question is, why did it change? 
What the happened? Koch brothers. Well, the Koch brothers, but mining. My my perspective on it is that it wasn't just that they they used um, they used the situation, and we allowed them to. So basically, what what I'm what I'm trying to say is that we come very incorrectly, and by like literally uh, throwing a sledgehammer on our own foot, coupled climate change with other important issues that are also I- important. But like, for example, things like income inequality. Even when we talk about the Green New Deal today, we talk about how we can inject the prior, uh, the, um, the the green economy with. Uh, government subsidies that will create more jobs. So not only do we uh, fix climate change, we also help um, people get more jobs and it fixes the economy. I think that approach itself is the flaw strategy. When you couple something as intense as climate change, which is such a existential issue with other political issues, you tend to alienate people that have different opinions on those pl- particular issues. Well, hang on, allow me to, as every podcaster in America says, push back on that. <laughs> I hate how they say that. Just say the point. That's so lame. Dickheads. Push back on that. No, but push Ooh, back. College boy. Yeah. yeah. Conflict resolution at your little HR department. You learned that from that, did you, Taffy? Yeah. Uh, but I would say... The reason that they coupled it with that is because they were trying to couple it with things that are popular, like infrastructure builds and jobs. Mm. And those are very popular. And, and I know, and I agree with that too, but as in like until very recently, I was all for this. And I still am. Like, I don't think, n- none of these policies are bad. They are actually really good. It, you do kill two birds with one stone, but it has the unintended consequence of alienating a lot of our political, uh, a lot of our political constituents who... Uh, would be willing to uh, look at climate change if it wasn't coupled with other lefty issues. We tend to, we we believe in ideology. So like those ideologies encompass every single point. But the fact that climate change is such an existential crisis, not just for liberal, left wing, right wing, it's a problem for everyone that by associating with other political things, like things like, um, you know, as much as like you would support someone like Greta Thunberg, the fact that by making it into such a um, a trench warfare thing where she is arguing for um, complete decarbonization by 2030 and we are saying like she's the new generation and she should, all of that is true but the fact is you cannot do that by 2030 even if you stop right now it would still be impossible but we have these un reasonable expectations the other thing is we always tend to try to solve climate change as a global thing where globally we'll be able to fix this when as that is such a weak weak way to approach it because you need so many things to work well for the, for your plan to work you need to have every country in the world work together to solve this issue when you know that there are currently so many different uh, other political issues that will not allow this to be feasible so you need to instead of like making a globalist approach towards it, you need to make it a nation state approach the other realization that i have was that perhaps after Koch brothers and the energy mining lobbies, the they greatest... They did do it with CFCs. Uh, I suppose that's what they did do with them, though, didn't they? The CFCs? Oh, wait, what the fuck are they called again? You know, the ozone layer stuff. Well, you know they did do that. Like, <laughs> they, But those are like... That's, <laughs> a, that that's a, the, the ozone layer hole thing. Hey, gas doesn't melt. That's, that's, that was easier Steel to fix. Yeah. That was... The, the whole climate change thing is is a much, much bigger problem. You're completely is, right, though. But, but the other, the other right. thing that I want to talk about was, and this was the main realization that I had, that the organization, aside from Koch Brothers and the uh, energy lobbies, that have done the greatest disservice in Australia to climate change is actually the Greens. Mm-hmm. Because the Greens, maybe unintended, like, unintended consequence, but the Greens basically politicized climate change. By having several opinions, so they, they might be completely right about climate change, but they have uh, opinions on the refugee policy, they have opinion on any other, which, which might be completely valid opinions, but what it does is it makes climate change into a partisan issue. So instead of the green strategy, which I think, if I'm not wrong, Jordan, you, like, was suppo- this was supposed to be the intended strategy, that the Greens are not there to fill the parliament. The Greens are there to enact policies that reduce climate change as much as possible. So instead of being another political alternative, they should have been a bridge. It should have been just a lobby group. 
the lobby group between the Liberal Party and the Labour Party that works that to find common what ground. That was originally designed for, but now they're trying to become the second opposition party. And that's why Republicans moved away from it. When you see people, you when you see like you know individuals from the Green Party that are you know quite um, far to the left, and they might have amazing policies according to us, but they have completely alienated an entire demographic democratic base, which is vital to do something about climate change. You cannot do it without them. This needs to be a really bipartisan issue. This needs to be as like, I gave this example on the Uplay podcast that imagine if there was an earthquake in Australia and thousands of people die. The bipartisan approach that this country would have in fixing that is required for climate change. I bet you, no matter you're liberal, green, labor, whoever you are, at that point you would want to help the victims of uh, earthquake and fix it well, as much as possible. look at COVID and look at the bushfires. Liberals didn't give a fuck. But even with COVID, we have so many common ground with COVID. Like there's, when when COVID I happened- I suppose like the Liberals still did something about it, but they just- And, and really the Labour Party supported job. them. And so did the Greens. The entire political spectrum supported them at that point because it was a national emergency. Climate change does not get that. And it doesn't get it because we have alienated the entire base that was supposed to be as passionate about it. And the other thing that we, well, we can go... I just think that it was just designed by the mining lobby, though. The mining lobby mm, used cold. it really well. So the mining <clears throat> lobby realized that, oh, shit, okay. So if climate change is being coupled with other issues that these people do not support, then we can use them. So they will... So the mining lobby has very, very intelligently used an alienated base. But the thing is, we alienated them. And... They alienated us too. But the problem was like, we just looked at climate change in a wrong way. Mm. We looked at it as a partisan issue. Yeah. And that's why like from the 80s, it became from a Republican issue where it was just a cons uh, conservative thing to now it being like a radical left thing. Mm. Mm. This is the greatest fuckery that we Someone have just mentioned uh, <clears throat> your point of like what happens when millions of Indonesians... They're, they're sinking and they come to Australia. Well, that's well this is actually thing. a question for the Common Sense Brigade. I was thinking the way that you turn <coughs> that on their head is you just say, uh, you know, like Scott Morrison claims that he's tough on boat people, but he's doing everything he can to create 200 million boat people. Where do we... Oh, sorry. I think I chose the wrong angle. But oh. um, yeah, someone no, that's sent right. me a meme, an uplaid patron who listened to that podcast because it generated a lot of stuff, sent me a really, really uh, good meme, which was some... What the hell? Cover the 8% of the ocean with seaweed and you can reverse climate change in 80 years. Yeah, that sounds about right. How the what fuck is that yeah. about right? Because it's just about uh, s sucking carbon out of the atmosphere. Something needs to do it. And uh, seaweed does that? Well, that's one thing that can do it, but also... I, I swear that the Alan Savory method, everyone's like, conspiracy theory because I saw cowspiracy. But man, mm. I talk to people from the Climate Council. I talk to, you know, really, <laughs> really on the ball climate scientists and policy makers. And they all say that cowspiracy is complete bullshit. What? And then I speak to scientists really? that have looked at Alan Savory's method and they were just like, I've seen it happen with my own eyes. There's farmers that talk to me. They're like, I use, not exactly that because it, copyrighted it and so it's quite expensive to do it but there's a lot of them that are saying no we do that now not a lot because it's still 96 percent of farmers don't give a fuck do what? but like sustainable farming oh, and what happens is you can see it i've seen footage of it just land that was arid desert and then 15 years later the soil is black it's rich it's filled with earthworms deep roots deep that's deep in the shaft but this is but this is sorry another seinfeld reference but this is essentially this idea that like, it's essentially the same as like traditional farm, but it's like, but there's trees and there's a river going, oh, there's a river going through the car cow's legs. Yay. Yeah. Look at but this. But like just changing a few things increases productivity of the land okay. by up to 10 times. I thought it was three times. It can be 10 wow. times more productive. Didn't you say it was being it utilized in Africa of all places? This was being well, it was invented in Africa invented by this Alan Africa. Savory guy. He, he was the one that did it. And then- the CSIRO does very similar things as well. So this is not just him as some crackpot that they've just made the enemy of the cowspiracy. But the other thing that I don't like about cowspiracy is that it puts the onus on the individuals. Like, you have to be vegan if you want to solve climate change. And it's like, well, good luck telling Pakistan that. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go or, convince two hundred thousand Pakistanis not to have those chickens in those cages that we yeah. and, and to have those gonna, fried and beef burgers. But unless you give them, but the other thing is, on top of that, like, dude, agriculture is fifteen percent of carbon emissions in Australia, and we are one of the biggest emitters when it comes to agriculture. Yeah. Like, most of it is in the energy sector and the transport sector. To be fair, it's a lot of that carbon is over is overseas carbon that we're producing. We're exporting a lot of these uh, animals, so we have a disproportionate. Mm. What I'm saying is, like, yeah, we we eat a lot oh, of beef, okay. but so also d- yeah. like China eats a lot of our beef, and so that also creates that carbon. Yeah, Me- methane at least. But the thing is that, yeah, you can definitely produce cattle and make the cattle work in a way that they are sinking carbon emissions. Why don't they just well, do the they se- just, yeah, that's the, yeah. The Why don't they just do the seaweed thing? There's, they know how to promote uh, seaweed growth. But 8% of the ocean is a lot of fucking a lot ocean, of fucking dude. Ocean. It's probably like three Australias. I don't know. Shit. Wouldn't you think, Jordan, wouldn't you think this, this actually, I'm going to give him a shout out. Uh, 12C Lock sent me these memes. Look at this meme. This is perfect. This is how you get conservatives. I'll read it out for the audience too. Terrorism has created 6.6 million refugees since 2011, has ISIS. Climate change has created 68.5 million refugees since 2017. Climate change, it's a matter of national security. Fuck. That's fucking awesome. I would just put into it just being like, Scott Morrison's made more refugees that's about <laughs> that's it your is that accurate but that's though the, that that's accurate? the problem that's what you They're don't like, do like, just being don't like, I think it's just like it. Howard might have saved you from 11 million refugees that's a different fight but altogether Howard. but that's what I'm saying like is, you don't politicize it because is that, accurate, that goes though? in their favor sounds like but bullshit that's an amazing meme yeah sounds like bullshit numbers though why that's a lot of people another meme no, it is, not really yeah but how wh- that can't be right where do yeah, you know th- it's right what? Climate change of, is happening now. No, I know it's happening now, but like some people, like some refugees. Well, right now what's happening in Pakistan, those are all refugees. They're just internal refugees. Yeah. You know how there was that desert that used to produce yeah. flowers and now it doesn't? All of them are just fucked off into cities. But they right. used to live there. Oh, so it's not necessarily talking about crossing borders. It's talking about even refugees within there's there. There's internal refugees. Well, there's, right now <coughs> they're, they're called internally displaced people and it's not just in Pakistan. It's a lot of countries. Really? We don't know about it. Bangladesh is one of the biggest examples. Their peripheries are basically go, uh, going into water. So those people that live on those peripheries are moving towards the center of the country, yeah, basically yeah. moving more and more towards dry land. Yeah. And they are being, oppo- this is the same country people, they're being um, opposed as like uh, invaders that are coming over. So it's already happening within countries. Okay. okay then so there's the that's Pakistan the, example. Dude, you know what? This is my <laughs> version of your guys is just sitting there being like, is that a squash, is it? No, it's a small displaced pumpkin. Oh, very interesting. I can listen to this all day. Keep it up, guys. I love listening to people being like, did you know that you can get a better bale of hay if you wrap it up in a cylinder instead of a square? It's not rocket science. It's agricultural science. It's a much lower HSC mark. It's maths, yeah. I, I love that chat. I really love listening to farmers. Like landline yeah. I is the only do, reason that I don't want the ABC to fund. You know what? I actually kind of agree with you. There's something really wholesome and satisfying about hearing people work the land and – uh yeah, I, I agree with you, actually. I, I've got a lot of time for those farmers. It's it, it's genu- <laughs> I'm just kind of interesting. I think that's what happens yeah, look when at you them. turn They're 30. all saying it. It's amazing. A, a lot of people actually here have a lot of interest. I thought everyone would just be pissed off that I was defending Alan Savory, but most people in here are just being like, oh, yeah, we got great produce yields by putting chickens on the lawn. But why would people hate Alan Savory? You've is got to be an, a real dickhead an, to hate him. Is he an unsavory no, they're, character? They're, <laughs> No, actually, though, no well, pun why intended. Well, he did kill 40,000 elephants. But that he, but his whole Fuck. thing was, like, how that was a big mistake. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm not holding against him. I'm just saying that, like, if you wanted to, like, attack him, you could attack him. But, dude, he was... But that's the whole thing. He was just figuring out how to get to that point. Yeah, you know? and he no, was saying that, very he, that was the biggest mistake of his life, and he will remember that till the day he dies. Hey, it was pretty close. It's 3.75 Australia's. There you go. So it's... More Australians. Wow. There you go. One you just two. get rid of South Australia, I guess, once. That's a lot of seaweed. But surely there's some way to promote seaweed growth exponentially. Yeah, there would definitely be ways that you can do that. Well, get on that, Elon Musk. Well, this is what's really depressing. I remember once this guy that was doing, um, I can't remember, natural science or something like that. But he came up to me after a show and he was saying that to stop the vast amount of extinctions permanently, permanently, the world 
we just have to chip in a hundred billion dollars. That's it. Like every country on earth would have to just be like, there you go, there's a billion what? for that. Or not even that. They'd have to put in 500 million because it's like 250 nations. No. And yes, Afghanistan is paying just as much as America. They're putting in. <laughs> no. <laughs> so everyone would have to pay the same amount. But that, what, well, I don't know, but it's just that? like if you were able to raise $100 billion, you could stop How? most of the six. How? Dude, you can raise dude, most greenhouses. Of it is just, yeah, it's mostly just being like this area, you can't. This is what's so sick about the guy that created CNN. I can't remember his name now, but he's just a billionaire. Ted Bundy. No, not Ted Bundy. <laughs> Ted something or other. The, the king of Atlanta. And he is <laughs> Atlanta. Yeah, they're gonna say the Atlantis. That, Sorry, go on. Ted Turner. But this, that's such a ridiculously low amount because you know we paid like half of that, fifty billion, to buy like twelve submarines that are just gonna stay there. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like absurd what the that priorities is, are. It's insane because it's the same thing with Australia. You could stop the vast majority of extinctions in this country if national parks were given an additional billion dollars a year federally. That's nothing. We just Jesus. passed, like, what? How much did we pass this year? I can't even remember. Fuck, I, I honestly can't remember. But, like, the debt is now up to, like, $750 billion or something, isn't it? Or close to a trillion? Fuck. It's a lot of cash. Just chuck an extra... No one will notice that extra billion. <laughs> At this it's point. a rounding error. The, the Liberals had a rounding error They've of <laughs> $60 billion. Fuck. Just make it's, it 61. How are they known as the good economic managers at this point? Well, propaganda. That's just straight up propaganda. Anyways, and what would they um, do? What do what, you mean? What do you do with the 100 billion? What? They've just been like, we're putting this into. Dude, it's basically this. It's just buying land. That's it. And just being like, you can't clear this. Right. That's it. Because all of it is happening from deforestation. Yeah. And so that's what Ted Bundy does. He just goes. Uh, to, pff, Ted Turner. Oh, is that the guy that bought a big fucking chunk of the Amazon? Yeah. But he does it to all these other places. He goes to all these ecological hotspots, and that's the other reason why you should switch over to Ecosia because they. If you haven't done that already, areas. definitely do that. Yeah, yeah, and just do this. Like people are like, it's not as good as Google. It's the same. I'd imagine it wouldn't be as good as someone that has uh, twenty thousand employees working on the fucking search bar. But it is as good. <laughs> Well, it's really well for your needs, yeah. Well, what the but hell? You're not looking up a lot of strange pornography. You're just looking hey, up. Hey, hot blind gives. Not Dude, so f- blue job. True, but like, guys, <laughs> look, it's a, it's a two in one. Get less perverse and and soothe your soul, and uh, save the world. Yeah, yeah, you really have just no cut excuse. that out. Like, I'm pretty sure you can still find a good recipe for sp- spaghetti bolognese on fucking Ecosia. What the best recipe is number three instead of number one. They've got a point. Fuck. I'm but this s- is a, I'm going to stick to my point that the way you get extra funding of that $100 billion or whatever is required to fix it is by depoliticizing climate change. Yeah, it's a good call. It's just how do you do that? But it's a very good call. But I don't think that it really has anything mean, to do with climate change. Yeah, true. This, right. what? I mean, it does have Lack a lot to do with climate change. But, like, the, dude, spatial extinction is, again, another separate issue. Well, spatial extinction is not necessarily... It's, it's linked, thing. but it's it is, but like you can stop even with projected climate change, you can stop a lot of the spatial extinction that is happening. Yeah, but now. like the other thing is, spatial extinction has always been happening. There's so not many species that ex- ex- went extinct. Yeah, but this isn't, but if you, it's not the same. The, the point is to preserve climate where you don't lose species at a level where the entire planet becomes unsustainable. There will be... But it's not even that. Like, if, if you it lose species, key species in these ecosystems, those ecosystems die. Like, dude, the local s- ecosystems die. Yes, but die some off. species are also meant to die in the system. But not... They're currently dying at a thousand times the normal Yeah, rate. and that's because of climate Whoa. change. So you fix that. So you... But it's recruit- not... But this is the thing. Climate change is going to happen. We're already down that path. But you can stop a lot of the spatial extinction. And if you stop a lot of the spatial extinction, you actually do preserve a lot of ecosystems that will just be absolutely demolished with the combination of climate change. But those species can keep it going. You can you can you can preserve species, but what are you gonna do with like fucking sixty five million refugees from Indonesia when they show up on your shores? You just let them sink. No, you, well, but that's <laughs> what Panthera, Panthera, there, Panthera, there Panthera, Panthera. Be... Just joking. This is a comedy podcast. La 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 lots of jokes here. <laughs> Anyways, we're out of time. Anyway, so Thank you for joining us today. It has been a Christ. I feel like lovely, that's like a fucking intervention. Content. It's like therapy. I'm I'm tired. That was long. Was that longer than usual? But you're always tired. You're a permanently tired man. Yes, but now I'm but I'm I'm extra tired. More tired. Yeah. More tired. Anyways, well, <sighs> the last tired man. <laughs>
Mislav Balabradjik alive. <laughs> the last tired man is the real tragedy of today. Lack of hammocks. God damn it. He, okay, he's, he's lost it. It's the hammocks. You think you can't so how are we gonna solve climate change when my back hurts? I'm fucking tired up in here. If I was rested, maybe I'd care a little more about climate change, yeah? Huh? They gotta pick up those little Touch more. Pick up fucking those little kiwis. Think about that in your internet. All right, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about no. it. No. Are you thinking about it? Yes, I am. You better give this man money on Patreon. He's tight. Yes, please, please become a <laughs> I'm patron. I'm working hard for you. Uh, Friendly Geordie's podcast <laughs> Patreon. We really need it. And thank you guys once again for uh, listening come and on. watching to the pot. See you guys Thanks, next guys. week. You better do it.